you know, I don't have any connection beyond just having been a part of the sort of alumni of, of Tolkien, if you will. Right. So I, I just excited, you know. Uh, speaking of Lord of the Rings, what do you think your most iconic piece of work is and why is it Green Street? Are you ready for this? edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. A uh, little late drop because of Labor Day, but we're here. We got two monster interviews for you. We got like an hour with Ari Shafir, who is always... Like an hour and a half. Yeah, he comes through and we just go places that I don't think you can go anywhere else. with. Uh, I don't think you can go anywhere without uh, a guy like Ari Shafir. He takes it places that nobody else goes. Uh, and then we got Elijah Wood, who uh, is, when you really look, down, look at it, like... One of the more from our generation, he is one of like bro. The I actors. watched. I watched the movie last night. Yeah, the, the, no the, man the of God. Bunny. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. His his new shit is uh, he it's fucked he, up. He, he's a lawyer in the in the uh, the Bundy murders and no, he's an FBI agent. FBI agent, he's right, Bill right, Hager, right. And he, I guess he's like the one guy who and Elijah will explain it to you like. Bundy left like all his worldly belongings to this guy because he thought he was they were best friends. It's fucked up. That when those guys like develop relationships Dude. with their like, I think it goes both ways. Where it's like, the, it's the, it's uh, it's really real. It's Mindhunter esque. Yeah, and like there are like like early in the movie. I actually, I'll be honest, I did fall asleep in the. I watched it last night like midnight, and I fell asleep in the middle, and I woke up again at the end. And so I don't, I can't really speak to the middle of it. But in the beginning, there's like like a 15 minute scene with just these two guys, and they're both great actors. I don't know who mm -hmm. the Bundy guy is. Um, where they're just going at it, like it's just like. Delivering it's just, the goods, it's just, it's just right? two fucking actors uh -huh. acting. And you know what? The, he's but such then a good at the example. end, at the end, there's one. It's Bundy finally fucking. So in the, it's actually kind of funny how like it worked out seamlessly. How where when I woke up, where like in the beginning scene, he's talking about how like what the FBI does is like they cast the line into the water, and then they, you know he's like they catch the little fish, the fish that mm -hmm. are too dumb and too arrogant to not think about bait. Right. Goes, but sometimes you you get into the middle and. And they're like, you know, you might get lucky. You might get a, a fish who forgot about something. And he actually takes a bait. Yeah. He's like, but below that, that's where I am. He's like, and the only way to catch fish like me is to become a fish like me. <laughs> and then at the end, and it's all, the whole movie's done from like transcripts. Like, this is all shit he yeah, said. Apparently. Yeah, it's a real deal. Yeah. And at the end, he fucking describes in vivid fucking detail about how like he finally confesses and like, because like, he's always, always maintained his yeah, innocence. Right. And he finally, like, he's about to die and he like finally confesses shit. And like Shia LaBeouf's, uh, Shia, excuse, me, excuse me, Elijah Wood is like crying, and it's like it's fucked up. Yeah, fuck. It's, Kevin, is that's fucked that's up. why those guys like they get they get fucked up too. You can't like you know track a serial killer your whole career and not and and just be like yeah I'm just clocking in and out. That's just my work. Dude, like, no no no. The way he like Elijah's like he's like responding to him, being like he's like he, she knows she knows these are her last moments on earth. He's like, and I spin, and he's like, he's like describing like fucking like raping her and shit. He's like, and I spin around, and I breathe in her last breath, and I was like, and Elijah starts weeping. I was like, this is fucking. It was like three o'clock in the morning by the time I woke no, up, and that was on. No, no, I had to no. get a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my SPKs? Give them to me, my like comfort food. Man, there's there's too much fucked up shit in the world, dude. That's why, like, when I when I see Bezos is trying to live forever for what, dude? For fucking what? To live around people like that? To live around the Ted Bundys of the world or the little, the little fish that you're baiting and all that? T t Bezos wants to live to what? Forever? Does he even have an, an age? Buddy. The, the headline it I read is. was that he's poaching scientists from all over the world to try to, you know, like reverse the aging process, which is like the, uh, you're uh, literally trying to play God. Man. If we're it's, talking about well, now, here's the thing, though. If we're talking about reversing the aging process, if I can fucking reverse the superficial like the body, aging yeah, process, yeah. die at the same time. Well, that's what's if, up. if okay. I can Let's, if I can like if I can just avoid the whole translucent skin phase, <laughs> right? Like we age the, so poorly. The, the, our, our people the, age so poorly. The phase where we fucking smell like rotting. Bro, uh, my grandfather's last like the dude, breath ten and the years. Years. And I hated being in the car with him. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, it smells like you got a dead body. It's, it's always and sunny. it's you. It's always sunny. It's, it's, it's just your it's body, just your and it's dead. And somehow it's still moving. Well, you know what it is. It's like you. If I, if I can avoid at any point in my life hand band aids, 
I yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> they always do have their hands. Just, I think at you know that point, I'll be like, all right, fine. They'll, like your, your grandparents will be like, boom, and then it's like, oh, that's it. Like deep bone bruise, internal bleeding, just from like whacking their hand. Which something. I've noticed with myself too. I'm getting there, right there, dude. Like it's not bad. not even just hand, just like I've I've like when I did we did the uh, the videos actually coming out this week too. The um the spit and chiclet stuff in Detroit. I came home covered in bruises. bruises. Yeah, like I, I mean, I played actual hockey Dude, this, for this thing, 15 years of my life, and I didn't get bruises like that. I played a little street hockey for fucking 15 you minutes. You have no iron. You're you're Dude. anemic. You're disgusting. Like you don't have any of the things that you need to fight. It was all I was that. bruises everywhere. everywhere. I'm a I'm a, I'm a pear or a peach yeah. or whatever they say. <laughs> if you can stop, if I can just cash out at 75 still and not, but like look like I was 40. Yeah. That's sign cold. me up. Yeah, yeah. But if you're if you're adding years to me, no thanks. I'll pass. Which is, but I think you. I I bet you they're they're reversing some of it, but ultimately you still just live way more years as an old person. Which who wants to do that? Yeah. They said the Time Magazine. I feel like for years has been saying, person being born like today right now will live till two hundred, and I don't think that's true. That's a big fucking jump, man. To jump from like a, like a buck fourteen. Like, the, the the teens is where we usually hear, like, world's oldest person. And even then we go bullshit. And, right. It's like, how do you even fucking know? From and, Ecuador? And you're, and you're telling me you're going to add, like, 85 years onto that? Some some fucking old person in a hut in Ecuador? You're from anywhere but, we have, but, we but have, Northeastern America. I'm questioning your 100 plus say, years. I was going to say, forget about Ecuador. You can tell me Mississippi. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> yeah. No one was counting Pop Pop's fucking, you know, they, they don't know. <laughs> give me a break. Bro, Mississippi, you're liable to go to the hospital. They hit you with an IV, accidentally give you fucking maple syrup. <laughs> like, you are. They're not, they're not keeping records down there, bro. They have no idea. That's like the fucking, uh, what's his name? The and, they, and they keep the old Aunt Jemima, too. No, <laughs> the, they got the racist maple yeah. syrup in your bones. Like, we ain't got none of that new shit. We got the fucking old Aunt Jemima. Is this the good kind? Yeah, the, the pre-emancipation. Yeah. Aunt this is what Paula Dean likes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah, there's no way these records are. This is Jonathan was the uh, the turtle or tortoise to all the fucking. Uh, you know, tortoise nitpickers. Jonathan is the Yo, oldest. If you're a tortoise nitpicker, go fucking jump Absolutely off a kill yourself, right? Go jump off a bridge. I had people being like, and don't jump off a bridge into the waterway. Jump off the bridge into the traffic. <laughs> Just get up on the side. When everyone starts honking at you, like, don't do it. Fucking turn and jump in front of a Mack truck. Look at Jonathan, bro. He looks like a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, he does. That looks like, like a coffee table. That looks like, I mean, this dude, Jonathan the turtle. I'm going to fucking call him a turtle. They say was born in eight. 1832, which first of all, again, I call bullshit. I'm like, how do you fucking know when this turtle was born? He's 189 years old. Did you see John. the Gettysburg Address? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That shit was like in the 1860s. That's the, that's the, fucking Abe Lincoln was standing on Jonathan. He wasn't. He wasn't a stump speech. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't that tall. <laughs> yeah. Abe wasn't actually that tall. He was just standing on top of Jonathan the turtle. They all, they said you know, they knew it because there was a picture. This picture of him. Oh, oh! Well, no, I mean, what are you questioning? I get it. And they go, they go. He has Ooh. distinct, distinct patterns on his shell that we know it's him. Fuck you! That's you know how many goddamn doppelgangers you have. That is that's a that's a turtle doppelganger. doppelganger. <laughs> that turtle is probably like forty, and he just happens to have the same shell as this motherfucker from the 1830s in this picture. That is are so, shells like fingerprints? I I guess so. Shell patterns are distinct. So they said in 1882, he was brought to an island. As fully grown, T took this picture in 1886, and now he's still alive. Uh, and I, I mean, I call bullshit on all of that because one day, I mean, I could pull up a picture of, of, of one of your doppelgangers and be like, he was born in, you know, John's 110 because look at this yeah, guy. Yeah, like Nick Cage has those. Nick Absolutely. Cage has vampires. Justin Timberlake has one, the time yeah. traveler shit. Like, just because pictures kind of look like somebody doesn't mean that it's fucking them. No. But let's say, for the sake of argument, this tortoise is 189. Now, I just said I want to cash out at 75. And I'm a human. A Even that's a little bit much, right? Yeah. I'm a human who can, I can have sex for pleasure. I can, I can work and have a career. Of, I can did you have a, deer suck dick? What? Hang on, hang on. I can get my laptop. Deer's like, like. Yeah, we posted on like, it goes on the Barcelona main account maybe once. The golfing? Yeah, it's like like, once, like 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 uh, today? No, one it. time. It was on Reddit today. Like we have one picture. Or this is regularly no, happens. Okay. No, I've seen like three it's deers. A, my guy's choking on dick. Deers like <laughs> deers have oral. They sex. look like two deers, by the way. It doesn't look like. Oh, maybe she's eating pussy because it's not a bug. 
Yes, monkeys are having sex. Oh wait, that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> I just said, I just did deer's oral sex, and what came up was yes, monkeys are having sex with deer. What? See, see, Bezos, who wants to be on this planet anymore? We're we're spiraling out of control, man. Uh, let's see, where where? Yeah, oh yeah, is it this guy? No, but that but that's mean, it's, it's, a, it's a similar position. I mean, that's this guy is like standing sixty nineing now, but are, but doesn't this kind of look like they're just nursing? Aren't they just aren't they just yeah. drinking milk? No, this is straight up dick sucking. Yeah, I think that's dick sucking, yeah. I've seen it go up on foreplay a few times, so that's probably Zach. <laughs> Man, you know what is just so fucked? Whenever you do anything animal like. If you want to grab my laptop, it's open on my desk. The cartoons <laughs> that pop up, <laughs> like Bambi porn, man. What? Like, who out there? That is ridiculous. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> who out there is making Look at that fucking porn? red rocket. No, I'd rather not. I'd really rather not. Look, Look at that animated She's got cum dick. dripping out of her mouth. Oh, my God. That's a fact. There's a TikTok account. Look at this fucking. Up. Oh, look at that fucking spread eagle, little Is double dick. True? Yeah. There's a TikTok account that just gives cartoon characters names from, takes it from the comments, and then times how quick it turns into porn on Google. <laughs> and it's never more than like six Bro, seconds. Bro, look at this one. This is Bambi with one of those. This is one of Bambi with one of those leg. Shackles with the bo the, the the bar oh, that doesn't. Oh yeah, no, I know that bar, game. They're called like spe separator and bars. And a fucking and dildo in her ass. <laughs> and unfortunately, tears in her eyes. Yes. Yeah, wish crying. I didn't catch that. Part. Just very rapey. Oh, yeah, that one wasn't. Boy, I wish I didn't look there. I, that'll teach me to look at the face of a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? This is this is fucked, man. Cause I'll be honest. Of <laughs> a porn star. I'll be honest. You Bambi. see a you see a a a, a little a little like banner ad of Marge Simpson blowing somebody you know I watch I chuckle yeah it gets I see I flowing. see uh, Lois from from family guy taking some back shots I watch yeah, like, Bambi I don't I don't need to watch Bambi fucking no <laughs> got that chicken head yeah. you fucking hammering that, that thing neck bobble He's going fucking hammering that's it. super head <laughs> And look, guy's he is, not he's even disinterested. Fucking, yeah, like, bro, come on, tell this, her she's doing a good this, job. This deer, this the man deer, <laughs> has gotten the best head that 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 any animal alive has gotten because he is not even phased no. by him. But she's given that. What's that? What's that TikTok thing going on going around where it's like, show me who gives you that sloppy sloppy gluck gluck nine thousand with the balls to Niagara Falls. You kids don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my god, it's unbelievable. You, you 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 start on yourself and it's one of those like robot voices, you know. And it's like, show me who gives you that. And it's like this whole long list of, of ways that you talk about getting your dick sucked. And you just like turn the camera to your girlfriend. <laughs> and usually these girls are like hookers who start like gagging and like fucking around and shit. But I guess I'm the only one who's seen that. <laughs> guess my algorithm's a little different from yours. I can't believe none of the kids piped up on that one. Uh, but that, that deer has gotten his dick to, sucked. Yeah. To be yeah. fair, once I got in a relationship, I was like, I got to start like looking at puppy photos. Clean that up. Like that. Yeah. Which, <laughs> See, that, shoot myself in the that foot here, I but. feel like, what, because in case, in case you're both just kind of like looking at the phone together? Yeah. That should never happen. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that we should uh, make, like, you should never just be like, oh, hon, let's just like, you know, watch Instagram together. Like, you got it on your own phone. We don't need to see what's on my algorithm. Mm. You don't need to see what might pop up. I got people text messaging me. You know what I mean? Again, and it's not even always about like cheating and shady shit. It's just like, you know, Josh Wolf's gonna text me a picture of, like some dude's asshole inside out. We don't need to share our worlds on the phone. The phone is, has an officially of become you. the extension of the brain. It, it, it's, it's, You're not allowed inside it, my brain. This has my not DNA. Not inside my phone. You know what I mean? This yeah. is like my yeah. heart, all my, kinds my of it. brain, yeah, skin, cum, 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 yeah, all of it. <laughs> a lot of DNA I'm just kidding, on this phone. On my phone. <laughs> I take I take great care not to. <laughs> it, it, it's what, it's a it's it's a conscious effort, but I've never come on my phone. What's worse than coming on your phone is being so aware that you don't come. On your phone. <laughs> uh, anyway, this goddamn I have turtle on my computer. <laughs> uh, who amongst us? Who amongst us, John? Uh, I mean, but, might, but, that might see, be got right there. <laughs> see, this is my point. That's a little bit. That's a little suspect. Nah, that's not come. That's not come. Yeah, you know what's funny is every time. <laughs> 
every time my, my laptop is within camera shot of one minute man people always are like uh like you left uh you left like your your coke on your on your uh yeah. on your laptop i'm like it's not coke, <laughs> it's not coke. coke that, don't drip <laughs> <laughs> what does that do <laughs> <laughs> all of these reasons everything we just discussed john watching porn fucking mm. laughing like this doing a podcast doing drugs that's all of the reasons why maybe someone would want to live forever because we can do some cool shit right Dude, all of those things are an effort to get me to die sooner, sooner. <laughs> but what as a turtle do you do for 200 years john <laughs> that is definitely not what turtles do. <coughs> That's how they fuck. No. You ever seen turtles fucking? No, my kids did this year at the zoo. They definitely don't do that. I thought it was like this. You ever seen that thing in the I video of the turtle like, fucking a croc? I thought it goes like. No. no. I thought I thought it was almost more of the 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 shells I like. I have a very uh, loud ringing in my ear right now. Uh, 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 uh. I don't, yo, I don't get how any animals other than like just normal, like four legged dogs, deer, maybe, I don't get how any of them fuck. Like some of these animals, it, the logistics behind banging is impossible. Let's try to get that thump thump. That was spot on. <laughs> I know how turtles fuck. I can do any animal fuck sound. Are we sound. sure that's? That's <laughs> your <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> Is that coming from the? Look at that mouth pussy he's got. I was going to say you could fuck that thing. <laughs> and this this poor girl. girl on the home girl on the bottom is like, I've been alive for 160 years. Get off of She's me, like, dude. Will you fucking wrap it up and just dump a load already? <laughs> I think this is the cameraman. <laughs> That's the cameraman making that noise. Bro, this That's is That's not the turtle. <laughs> that mouth is fucking creeping yeah. me out, dude. That poor turtle on the bottom. Never seen a creature less interested in sex than a turtle getting fucked. Oh my god, when you said croc, I thought you meant like an animal croc, not the shoe. I thought there was a little, like... Hey, any inter, point in the inter storm, inter baby! <laughs> hey. No! <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? This is like a thing... A hole's a hole, Kevin! <laughs> Show the class. <laughs> Show the class. I mean, they're, they're, he, he so proudly, like, <laughs> mounts it, puts it in, he's like... <laughs> like this long build up, like mm. eh, <laughs> No way this is how turtles fuck. That's turtles, I can't believe you didn't know that, man. No. Yeah. And what's scary is how well you did it. <laughs> you started those noises. I was like, what is happening? And I'll tell you what's happening. He's mimicking a turtle getting fucked. Or fucking. It seems to be when they're fucking, not getting fucked. I don't think it's pleasurable oh, to receive. When they get fucked, they fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of similarities here. A lot of similarities between turtle sex and my sex. I'm making weird noises. She's falling asleep. It's it's not it's very slow. It's not very impressive. But like, where does how does the turtle dick get to the turtle vagina with the shell in the way? I don't know. And also, how fucking fat's a turtle dick if he's fucking a croc? I can't. Well, this is a tiny turtle. But yeah, it but can't be that I mean, big. No, but I mean, like, the, I would think that's a big turtle dick to fuck a croc hole. If you're a turtle, I mean, he's like the size of the croc. But why, maybe I, I guess I haven't seen. Him. Can anyone? No one's wearing crocs, right? Okay. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think a croc hole would be like. We that got rid big. of him. Yeah, I think that's a fat turtle dick. I guess that's a little bit. You know, you look at the other holes; they're not. I think I know? think a turtle dick is is a ghoul away. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I I also feel like. Think about, like, I, you know, when, when, uh, I've always joked about, like, a girl with, like, a, a gigantic ass, like, a fake ass. I don't even think I could get through, I don't think I could penetrate her. I oh, think, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think, like, the cheeks would be all that I reach. Like, I don't think I could get through the canyon to get into the cave. You know what I'm saying? I feel like getting past a shell would be oh, even I think harder. Oh, turtles got kind of fucking dicks on them. 
Like what? Like the balls? It looks like the balls are in the wrong place, kind of. But you didn't react enough to that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. No, no. Look I at won't. this thing. You, <laughs> no. You want you want to thing... talk about fucking uh? What, it, what was it? What was that called? The ice creams? Oh, you got that Neapolitan. Neapolitan, but it's yeah. orange, gray, and purple. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a sherbet dick. <laughs> that thing looks like a. Like a yeah, slug. Yeah, turtles kind of got like no, 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 no. This is disgusting. Like turtle, like, like so you comparatively want me... speaking, no, turtles, no, no. Turtles got pipes. <laughs> comparative to us? No, compared to the rest of their body. Oh yeah, yeah. That that is something I feel like other animals. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, definitively say I have a bigger penis than a turtle. Sorry for the brag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I can't. I, can't, I know we're usually I, pretty I'll, self-deprecating I'll on this show, but I got a bigger cock than a turtle. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know if you got a bigger cock than one of those giant tortoises. I don't know. I don't know if you do, man. If if that little thing, if it's all proportional, then the giant tortoise has a fucking hammer. We'll figure that out giant too. Giant tortoise penis coming up. I, I feel like a lot of uh, I feel like a lot of animals, their dicks are like the whole length of their body. I gotta feel this isn't. Whereas be. ours are like not at all. Unless you're Patrick Ewing. <laughs> he had to tape it to his leg. I can't. You had to take it out of the toilet when you sat down. <laughs> True story. This is it's crazy. I can't, I can't really crazy. find it. Imagine that. Yet, if you like pee first, then you got to take it out. Because otherwise, <laughs> it would just be in the water. Yeah, it's gonna be a that's crazy. Be a mess sitting down drunk. Like, oh, I forgot which order to do this in. Just pisses all over the fucking thing. I can't. Like, I don't even know what that is. That's. I'm done with this. I'm done. <laughs> anyway, my whole fucking point was just to say that turtles do nothing other than float through the water and slowly walk around Earth and apparently eat straws because of the turtles. Show me one dead turtle who has ever eaten a fucking straw. Doesn't happen. Uh, there's that one with a, with a straw in his nose. That, it's one. Yeah. It's literally that one picture. And he was just a coke Ch Cheeto Santino says it. <laughs> Cheeto. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he, he really did it wrong. That <laughs> the whole thing, like, right up his fucking brain. Cheeto Santino has a bit about it where he's like, well, are there just, at the bottom of the ocean, are there just tons of dead turtles with straws all in their fucking mouth? I have never seen it once. And why in turtles, of all animals, they say turtles can, like, t take your fucking hand right off. Yeah. They can't handle a fucking <laughs> straw? Bullshit. And those turtles just float around this godforsaken earth for almost 200 years. Imagine the shit. He lived through, like you said, the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> yeah. He lived through. If you saw the Gettysburg Address, you should be dead. He was pre-Civil War, man. I don't even know what, what you call pre-Civil War. Like, what is even that time? Like, there was the revolution, then what? And then Civil War. What did he live in there? Racism. That's like the French and Indian War or some shit? I don't even fucking know. I think that's before. The War of 1812. I, I, I think, he was uh, almost around for the War of 1812. I think that's the era we call slavery. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably just the slavery years. <laughs> those, are, those, are, those are the... Uh, Santino. You know what? The, this, this tobacco turtle, and, and I cotton guarantee years. They're you, not good years. I guarantee They're not years you, you wanted to be around for. This turtle, much like your grandparents, racist. Yeah. This turtle has been around. He's seen some shit. This turtle, if you dug up his past, you'd get canceled. This turtle, Jonathan the turtle, canceled. He, can, he, can, he actually learned English at just the N-word, though. <laughs> <laughs> he just drops that. God, racist turtle living for two hundred years. No, thank you. That turtle is f like, please find me a plastic straw. Let me kill myself. <laughs> Let me get that sweet release of death, so I don't have to just wander this planet Let's Earth. Just fuck one more croc, and I'll be out of here. What would you do if you were a turtle <laughs> for Cross that long? Cross the road. Like I, just, just, <laughs> I just find a street and just keep wandering back and forth. Like someone's weight. gonna hit There's it. Fucking wait. Right? I got my. I carry my house on my back. <laughs> it's hard for me to fuck. I yeah, make funny gives, noises. Everyone I'm gives racist. Jesus a lot of credit for. My, my head is made of wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus carried his cross. I carry my house everywhere, everywhere. I go. <laughs> cross is light work compared to a house. Oh, can you imagine inside your shell? <laughs> oh. Like, your armpits are gross enough. Imagine inside a turtle shell. <laughs> For, to, imagine the inside of a 200-year-old turtle shell. Somebody kill this thing, man. He, he doesn't want to be here anymore. And Bezos is out here trying to turn me into Jonathan the Turtle. <laughs> if you could pick, if you could reverse the aging physically, how long would you want to live? Would it still be like... Same, same, like regular human span. Yeah, yesterday'd be good. Yeah, like thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> I think really, uh, really, any time before today would be perfect. I do think that. No, yeah, yeah, because what people don't realize 
I guess Bezos doesn't realize because he's fucking rich and life is awesome to him. Where he's like, I want to do this forever because I'm on yachts and I'm going to space. And Even I'm doing that all cool shit. doesn't matter. I, I, I that, tend to agree you could with give you, me but that, I also I, don't know. I, I don't know what billionaire life is like. Maybe it really is that awesome that you want to just keep doing it forever. But all I've seen is life gets more complicated. So I'm like, you know, there's a reason why. To me, pinnacle in life, the golden era, Little League Baseball, riding your bike, chasing chicks, but the very, very beginning of it, and you know how to masturbate. That's the perfect little <laughs> crossover. Yeah, you could maybe, die right then. Maybe like one, you've had like one Would have never had before. a complaint. Right. That's what I mean. You, you never complained if you're lucky enough to have like a nice childhood. You never had an issue. And then what happened? You continued aging. You started to date girls. That pre presented issues. You had to go to school and like do work. Then you had to get a job. Then you started to experience death. Then you started to experience uh, substance abuse. Then you started to experience uh, your own abuse from other people. A as life goes on, you just pack up more and you more just baggage. Met more people. So yes. Yeah. So what about Ugh. when you're 170? It's like I I've been through like this entire life cycle like three four times already. Fuck that, man. Somebody stop Bezos before, cause that. But then you know what else sucks is everybody else lives to like. If everybody else but you. If I'm like the loser who still dies when he's 70, but everybody else is, is living. Oh, I'm the guy who left the party a little early. That's okay with me. <laughs> Done it a million times. Going to do it a million more. Yeah, I'm just I'm going to Irish goodbye like, out on this guys, whole Guys, I'm party. tired. I'll see you yeah. later. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> well, fuck Bezos. Fuck Jonathan the Turtle. Fuck him. Uh, we're getting into our top fives now. Top five is in honor of Labor Day. So we're doing top five uh, worst jobs, top five jobs you do not want to have last job you would ever pick. Uh, top fives today is brought to you by top five worst jobs in the world. Uh, so shout out to the guys from MVMT who said, fuck it. They didn't go to some shitty job. They didn't do some dead end, uh, you know, unfulfilling career. They went and they started a movement themselves in a tiny apartment in Southern California. They had this design team that created the most high quality, fashionable, stylish watches uh, in the goddamn world. And what the, the real specialty behind it was that they made it all affordable. So instead of paying like 500 bucks per watch, you had watches for 100, 100 I think they started 95 bucks. The most expensive one is 130. Then they extended into the, the uh, eyeglasses, the, the sunglasses game. And then they extended into eyeglasses where they have the blue light filtering glasses, the ever scroll glasses that help you uh, keep your eyesight while you're staring at screens and phones and all that shit. Uh, so you can look stylish with your sunglasses. You can match it to your high quality watch that always looks sleek. And, uh, you know, I feel like a watch, a nice watch is a very mature look. Oh, yeah. You know? And then uh, top it all off with some Everscroll glasses for when you're at work or trying yeah. to save your eyesight. I actually just saw someone, what was it? I saw someone in a watch the other day. And, like, it just came up. He was wearing a button down shirt, too. And it just kind of like rolled up, and I saw the watch. It wasn't anything special, it was just a watch. And I was just like, that's a man right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got a I mean, button on I, his sleeve, no. and he's got a watch on. That's I a think, man. you know what we'll do next week, too? Uh, we'll do a top five because I said we said a couple weeks ago. When do you become a man? When you eat a Big Mac, right? Remember that? <laughs> no, I don't remember. It, that. You were drunk. It was uh, <laughs> we, were, we were saying like it, it's not when you not a bar mitzvah. It's not when you first have sex. It's when you can order your own Big Mac and eat it. I think you literally were drunk, which is funny when we did that episode. <laughs> but you know, because I remember I used, my dad used to get him like big messy Big Mac burgers, and I was always like afraid. And then I got my own Big Mac. Anyway, my point being that when you get your own fir your first nice watch. Not even nice. You don't have to get like a Rolex or something. But I feel like every guy kind of has a moment where they're like, all right, I have like some cash now. I work a job and I'm going to get myself a watch. Watch. I'm going to get it like uh, whatever. One that doesn't you have know. Buzz Lightyear on it. Right. Yeah. And that's where you get an MVMT watch because you don't have to break the bank. And uh, right now you can get 15% off when you go to MVMT.com slash KFC. Get 15% off plus free shipping and free returns. Get great style that doesn't break the bank at MVMT.com slash KFC for 15% off. Top five worst jobs in the world. Shout out to uh, laborers because it's Labor Day. Uh, what I do like about Labor Day, there's no death, you know, minus the triangle shirtwaist factory. <laughs> um, you know, it's not like, like, you know, Memorial Day, there's always some asshole being like, enjoy your fucking barbecues. Like, this is about the fallen soldiers. It's yeah. like, I know, but fuck, man. <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess it's just that one. Yeah. But. <laughs> no, there's more. There's a couple other sad ones yeah. out there. Veterans Day. Yeah, Veterans, Veterans Day. Day. It's, you know, it's a tough one, too. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Labor Day's just like, you get a day off, and it's all good, man. 
Um, so worst jobs in the world can range from, you know, I just wouldn't want to work it to like regular jobs to disgusting, you know, far fetched ones. What do you got? Nurses. Listen, my, my sister's a nurse. She Dude. would tell you put it at the top of the list. I don't Dude. want to be a nurse either. Bro. Changing bedpans, sticking things up people's asses. Sticking you know. fingers up people's asses. Yeah. Fucking just like and like and dealing I, I, dealing with uh, fucking pandemics when they hit. When make, they hit. I mean, we make fun of nurses a little bit here here and there. Um, but it is like, like I I know I, I think back like, I think in Scrubs when like uh, Carla says something like she's like I know everything a doctor knows but I don't but get paid whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I th there probably is some truth to that. Definitely. Like, so that for sure sucks. That's a yeah. job I would not want to have. Yeah. No. No. That's a. And then you have to stick stuff up my ass. So that sucks. Too. And then yeah, I mean the amount of diapers or bed. Oh. Catheters? Dude. When it's like today's, I gotta go stick Yo, this up somebody's this dick. Is, I, I was kind of joking, so just so I could say the, the fucking thermometer thing. This is definitely a, like a one. Yeah. This is not a fun job to Bro. have. Bro. And again, would, like uh, at least with doctors, you know, you get paid. Right. Hopefully. Used to, at least before, you know, the, the whole. But like, you get the name, you get the you get the girl, you get the mansion, you get the money, like get all this shit. They're called bro. Uh, all right, number one for me. Um, I don't know what this job would be. I don't know the, the title of it, but anything where you're one of those farmers who you put your whole arm in a cow's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so, What's that about? So being on fucking Rediscovering America this is one of the worst jobs. Did they do that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think I think it, I think it was just Nick, maybe? Disgusting. Uh, Nick definitely did. I, th I think, think Donnie did, too. I think, like, KB might have done it and didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> KB probably loved it. That's why. <laughs> I feel like, you know, when you put the arm condom on, and I also think it's to inseminate, but, like, why are you putting your hand in their ass? We've talked about in the video. Oh, yeah, we did talk about this because oh, I remember saying, yeah. "Do cows get pregnant through their butt?" I remember, <laughs> I remember saying that. Be like, like we got a bad. bunch of DMs about it. That's it like, like they primes it or preps it. No, or something. no, they they're able to like grab something from the inside yeah. and then like direct it more. Like <sighs> in in the video, they explain I it. I am not trying to be armpit in deep in a cow's asshole, <laughs> so I'm out on that. Also, anything like it's probably along the same line. I watched um I watched a cow like give a distressed birth on a calf Why? or whatever. Why? My mom was watching and I was at her house. It's one of, it's one of these you like- leave the room? I know I should have. And, <laughs> and they literally- was she, Were you taped to the chair? <laughs> no, but they, I was sleeping over at their place for the night and they, it was nighttime, it was quiet. They live in a tiny apartment and I was just like, I'm stuck here. They like, put they put like a chain inside to like, I mean, it's fucking Jesus! nuts. So any hands oh. up the ass or pulling cows out of other cows, I'm out. School teacher. School <laughs> School teacher. School teacher. Right up there with nurses. Dude, teachers fucking suck a dick. Teachers. And this this isn't even it's actually because again, this is another profession we make fun of quite a bit, because you guys do whine a lot. Um but <laughs> and you guys are always like how hey, much money I have to spend my my own money on the kid don't just don't do it. Just don't so buy them easy. fucking just don't buy yeah. the kids' pencils. Right, right. Um but this is in defense of you because it's a job I would so badly not want to do. Someone has to do it, preferably a woman, because man, if you're doing it, it's creepy. Um, and it's just a shit job. It's just a sucky job that I, I've I've met a couple of kids and I have no interest in meeting anymore. No, I'm, I'm you're if I that. never see a kid again, that's a good life. <laughs> I think I think I've said before. If I see a baby ever again, it's it's too soon, and like I, that, that goes like right up until like sixteen year olds. Oh well, okay. Um, daycare worker. Okay. Insane. I was gonna say nanny, but like my nanny has become like part of my family, and so in that sense, like I, I could see some type of like goodness, but like daycare where it's just a revolving door of kids, and then they grow up and they get sent out, and, and you can't even in. have a fight club with them. Like, what's N the point? <laughs> Now, back in those days, yeah. I wouldn't. This wouldn't be on my list because having a baby daycare fight club is awesome. awesome right. So then I would be at the top of my list of great jobs <laughs> where I like have cockfights with little babies. Just start but, stirring shit like Littlefinger. Like you hear what Kelsey said about you? <laughs> she said that you still shit your pants. You still wear diapers. Or, but I mean, like she little said your babies. Mommy is stinky. <laughs> little babies coming in, and you got to change them and wipe them and clean them, and then just oh god, daycare workers, the worst. Number three, lifeguard. Hmm. Nah, taking it back. No, because I was gonna say spend time on the beach. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I was a pool lifeguard. Yeah, I've done that. It's but even still, though, awesome. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. kind of hang out, get get a tan, all, all that right. shit. Yeah. Fine, I'm, I'm scrapping it. I'm scrapping it. 
Oh. Okay, I got one. Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this episode's going to air. Uh, if we're going to put all of that dead air time there, but John, John was thinking for quite a while on this pick, <laughs> and that made it all that much more funny. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking soldier. It would suck. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like I, I get it's probably different if you had the calling or whatever it is. You know, I, I, chaps and cons and Kate had pride in the, and yeah. and and I, and I don't have that. I don't have pride yeah. in anything. No, so maybe like even like drafted soldier. How about that? Oh, drafted soldier. Any, any, I mean, drafted. any kind of soldier. Uh, any, any, any job where you're going to put me in a foreign country where people are going to shoot at me. Yeah. That stinks. That, no, thank you. That objectively is a yeah. bad, that's yeah. a sucky job. Right. No, it's not you. a job I have interest in. No, 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 no. no. That's okay. A I, good I one, have John. all the respect in the world for the people who sign up for it. That's a but good it's one. Not a job I want to have. That is a good one. Um, I'm all, gonna, all three of these so far are going to piss people off. <laughs> But they're, nurses, they're nurses, teachers, soldiers. <laughs> they're jobs that are necessary, but they're jobs. So let's let's rediscover. Let's let's retitle this. Top five jobs I don't want to have. <laughs> yes, Not top five that, worst jobs. That's a great world. way to put top it. Top five jobs I don't want to have. That is a great way to put it. I, I'm good with that. Um, I'm gonna go with. This is probably a job. <laughs> Guy who's got a test. Bulletproof vests. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You put on a mannequin. Yeah, no, but I think you got I think you got to test it. I like, think cocky motherfuckers who like they create it, they do it. Oh, you know what's a good one too? Um, we were just talking about this um, out, out in the bullpen. Um, oh fuck! I think it was like airplane designers have to take the maiden flight. Oh, I've told you about that. My Is uncle. Is that you? Yeah. I think oh, no, no. I didn't tell you about it. that. I just, my uncle built a plane in his garage and then flew it by himself. Built a plane by himself in his garage. What? And then, and then just, and I was like, bro, what? I wouldn't fucking sit in a chair I made. You fucking built an uh, airplane and then just, like, he, I think he just fucking pulled it out of his garage on the street and then just, like, fucking hit the pedal and fucking took off. <laughs> it's like a single propeller. How like, high like did a, it go? Oh, it's a it's a regular ass plane. Like it's I mean it's like a prop like a propeller yeah. plane, but like I don't know, it goes as high as those planes go. Like it's just <laughs> I think oh, I, my uncle. <laughs> I actually think he stores it in his garage and just like takes it Does out it like it's a car. In a garage? No it's way. A, it's a big you gotta garage. Have long fucking uh, wings. It's, no? it's it's a bigger than normal garage, oh but it God. is it's a garage. Oh, all right. So uh, uh, I'll, I'll I'll change my uh, what's it called? The waxers, the girls who wax girls. Oh yeah. Girls who wax Cause, cause girls' assholes. Because guess what? When you first think of it, you only think about hot people. And there's and guess way what? more ugly people ugly than Ugly people. people get waxed, too. Fucking <laughs> fat people get waxed. <laughs> Smelly people get waxed. Guys. Hairy guys. Guys get waxed. Hairy, hairy, hairy people get waxed. Like, your job is to clean assholes. No, thank you. <laughs> and again, and not with, like, the, at least, like, doctors who do, like, colonoscopies. Even I was debating putting on uh, pussy doctors. What are they called? OBGYNs. <laughs> But like, they call pussy doctors. Pussy doctors. <laughs> but at least you're a doctor there, you know. This is just like I clean assholes for like ten bucks an hour at the <laughs> salon. That's crazy. When I used to work on high haters, we had a girl call in, and she's like, "There's shit on almost every single strip." Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking? About? What are they shoving up, they, up their ass? Well, no, people it, don't it, wipe their asses. Yeah, she's like, people just don't clean properly. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you, more people. You get. You know. You, you gotta. Uh, you don't give the general public the benefit of the doubt, ever. Jesus Christ. Was that, is that my fourth pick? Third. There. Um, four for me. I am going to say um, cold caller. Ooh. We're working at a call center. <laughs> Remember that guy? That was yeah, great. That was great. The Pavs, Mike Pavs is. Oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with um, a drug mule. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You know what I watched the other day? Terrible movie. Terrible ending of a movie. Savages. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Kitsch, some guy who, I don't know, was in a movie with Taylor Kitsch and Blake Lively at the height of their careers. Yeah. And just never did anything ever again. Yeah. Is, he, is, is Justin Timberlake in there or a mix No, no, Alpha JT. Dogs. You think you're thinking Alpha Dog? Yeah. Somebody else is Selma Hayek's in it. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 John yeah. Travolta's in it. Right, right, Can right. Can you see what Ben from Savages has ever been in, aside from Savages? I don't recognize that dude at all. Um, and he's he's in the movie yeah. with four heavy hitters, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like the star of it. Oh no, he's he's a massive actor. That's kick, <laughs> that's kick ass. Who's kick? Well, hang on. Okay, a well, all right. Yeah, I mean, let's hold on. Also, what? he was in the Avengers. He was the he was the first. Uh, 
it was what's her name Wanda's brother that gets killed like spoiler whatever in Ultron like he's the super fast one he gets killed in that he was in oh okay yeah now I recognize him he, okay uh, he was in Tenet he he's been in a that. lot of stuff okay he, maybe Aaron Johnson is that right yeah. Oh, it's Aaron Johnson. I recognize that name too. Maybe I just didn't recognize him with the dreadlocks. He has dreadlocks in the movie. Oh, yeah. Savages. Um, I don't know those guys. I wouldn't call him like super famous. But anyway, the uh, yeah, get, just getting mixed up in the drug oh, trade. Pietro, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, getting mixed up in the drug trade is it's just no bueno. Like because like, they, no bueno. they they, they kind of get fucked with. They're like they they're like we'll in savages. They're like we'll give you our business because mm -hmm. the the Mexican cartels are like we want to work with you mm -hmm. and we and they're like, they're like no we don't want to work with you. You can just have it. Mm -hmm. You can just like we're out. Yeah, you take yeah, it. Yeah, and they're yeah. like no 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 we're working with you. Yeah no that 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 That's, to me. Oh you know what okay uh, yeah yeah okay no, I'll leave that yeah so but the the the, the mules are like yeah you got to put this up your ass and get across the border back and forth like a bunch of times right. You're just like our little fucking piggy bank filled with drugs yeah no good no no, no, good. Yeah, no thank you i got my fifth pick though uh, and, I, and i'm happy it came to me because i think it's got to be the worst job in the whole world my number five is a, a hot take artist be it you can whether it be a you know a, a drive time radio guy or, or uh, skip bayless instagram or short form video no guy <laughs> no that you know that's not what i mean at all but like like someone who i think we've talked about this before we're like like someone who has to take a story that they know isn't important, and they have to, make and you have to talk four hours about yeah, it. Yeah, like, like oh well, wait. No, I think that's two different things. I think, I think there's like, well, no, I guess it, it does kind of go together. I think of it more as like, I don't think there's any shame in being like, I gotta, I gotta get through four hours today, so we're gonna, we gotta like trump it up a little bit, versus like. I gotta. I have to take this take. You know, I have yeah. to. That has like, to like, kill. Like that has yeah. to hurt. As yeah. Per, like, 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 like the. Um, it's, it's almost like happening with the Mets with me, where it's like people are like, why are you being positive and optimistic? And it's like because that's just like, way, the way I, I view it. That's how, that's how, I, how I feel about yeah. this this ownership group. So I'm going to tell you. So, when, but when you're a slave to it, like if I was like, I have to stay negative about the Mets because I I have in the past, uh -huh. and you're just you're just soiling out for whatever reason, like. It's got to eat at you. The, so the one hard. that really. The poli the, especially with politics now, you know, like. Poli yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be politics. Oh, well, I'm conservative, so I have to be conservative yeah. every time. No, no, no. Let me spin zone this Texas thing to make it sound, like, reasonable. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. It's, it's just the, brutal. Uh, yeah, let's make, we'll make it seem normal that we just. We said we had to stay in Afghanistan so people who are oppressive to women don't take power. But, anyway, by the way, you, you can't get abortions anymore. And if you, you, and, and also, we're against communism, but uh, you can you can write out your neighbor for ten thousand dollars as long as you tell the state right um, oh yeah perfectly fine yeah <laughs> we're, but we're, the uh, um what was i gonna say but like like, like the, the one that I, i've always thought this forever I, i've never been super big into uh sports talk radio but the the one that was a tipping point was when i heard that they did a full day full day on tom brady not wearing his patriots rings <sighs> to the bucks ring ceremony that's and I'm crazy. Like, I'm like, that has to hurt you on a fucking be. cellular level. Yeah. Like, that must be exhausting. Another to call, the, the, and you're like, like yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, who does he think he is? He right. must be pissed at Bill. Like, why would he wear his rings? Right. They're from it's a different team. team. Yeah. No, that is, that's, that's got to, it's, it's not, it's like what I, what I say about, like, yeah, it's not like working in a coal mine, which I guess you could put on the list, but, like, but it's hard work because you're probably dying on the inside. Right. Of that. <laughs> um, my last and final pick. It's the craziest job in the world. I don't even know if it qualifies as a job. I don't know. I mean, I guess you get paid by the people who you do it with, but being a uh, Mount Everest Sherpa, <laughs> those little motherfuckers <laughs> don't get any credit. They don't get any glory. They're never like known as the guy who made it to the top first. I would hope that these like expedition guys pay them handsomely, but they probably don't. Mm -hmm. And you just climb oh, I bet up you get. Down. I bet they clean up. You think? Yeah. Cause, well, cause I it's think, all rich fucking. I'm thinking. Yeah. I've, I've seen Everest. Which no, is a great I, movie. The people and with the, Josh the, Brolin's character, like that dude, tipped him out well. Definitely. But, it's, all, it's all fucking but, like, rich they guys. Fucking and, better because you're gonna die eventually. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like, but can you imagine running every back every day and just forth? another spin of the chamber? Yes. Roulette. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and they they get so good at it that they. I think they. You know, they. Probably, I think there are guys who have done it like. Uh, plenty of times where they're just like, yeah, man, I just go up and down, no big deal. But like one day, you know, there's gonna be an avalanche or some shit. You're gonna fucking die. And even on a good day, you're like, oh. you know, yeah. They get about four thousand dollars during all of climbing season. It's not good. 
4K? Yeah, they could hardly feed their families. I thought you I th- when, when you said, oh, I thought you were going to say a huge number. No, and then when no. you said 4K, I thought you still meant that was a lot. And I was like, Nick, we got to talk about your money situation. Wait, <laughs> but also $4,000. Like, $4K and this, it's in Tibet, right? Yeah, it's a, well, this says while Western guides make around $50,000 each climbing season, Sherpa guides make a mere 4000 barely. Even 50K? Bro, I thought it was going to be like 250 grand. How long's climbing season? That ain't right, man. <laughs> this ain't, this, so this is a, definitively then yeah. the worst job on the planet. Four thousand dollars to continuously hike the biggest mountain. The, in the most world. dangerous thing in the world. <laughs> Literally, the most dangerous uh, piece of land in the world. That is sickening, bro. Absolutely sickening. Fuck that. We need to fight for Sherpas. Hashtag save the Sherpas. Like, do those guys know that you can come over here or go anywhere really, and you know, be a fucking work at a restaurant? <laughs> for this, for far more money, and not have to climb up a peak of death, a snow peak of death, that's fucking insane. I thought it was at least going to be rich people being like, yeah, here's yeah, like here's, two, here's a duffel bag of 250k, right? You know, and then like hope you know, you do it next year and you hope you you survive again. And but uh, no, it's the worst existence imaginable. It's about two months this climbing climbing season, April to May. Oh, it's shorter than I thought. That is sickening, bro. And then they all take the credit, and you're, like, in the back. Like, yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> Fuck that, man. So top five jobs you would hate to have the most. Right? That's how we're wording it? Yeah. Top five jobs, jobs you, you don't want to have. Uh, hit us with uh, what we missed and what you got on the list and probably what your jobs are. You know, people are going to be like, the job I currently work. <laughs> Voicemails. Let's get to them. Today they are brought to you by Manscaped. Don't go to have to get waxed. Top five worst job in the world where you're bringing your – pubes and your hair to a stranger who has to clean it up you can clean it yourself using manscaped because they have the top technology in the world to make sure that you're smooth and clean where it counts they've got the lawnmower 4.0 technology i think one day how long we're gonna keep doing manscaped on this podcast one day we might have like the lawnmower 15.0 we'll have guys on the mound throwing 150 miles an hour and people will be trimming up their balls with the lawnmower 15.0 i don't even know how the technology could get better they have nick proof technology it's made out of ceramics and the motor operates at 7,000 rpm it's already the most technologically advanced ball trimmer in the world i don't I, don't, I can't even believe we had the first, second, or third. We're already on to the fourth. And then when you're done trimming it, you clean up your balls, your pits, your arms, your back, everything. They've got the ball deodorant. They've got the crop reviver, which are just lotions and creams that you put on your body so that you smell good, you stay smooth, and uh, everything is is clean, like I said, where it counts. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code KFC. You get uh, 20% off your order at manscaped.com. Promo code KFC, 20% off, plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Promo code KFC. Hey, it's KFC Fights. Quick brain teaser for you. If you had a clone and you killed that clone, would that be murder or suicide? Classic question. A timeless question. If you had a clone and you killed that clone, is it murder or is it suicide? This is a Jason Bateman show. No, not Jason Bateman. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's got a show about this on Netflix. Okay. Where he keeps killing himself, right? I I mean, yes, I'm I'm right. I'm right. it's very um, good. It's pretty good, yeah. And what do they say in that show? What do they declare it? Or like, how do they treat it? I think it's, uh, I forget. It's kind of a comedy. It's not like mm-hmm. a dark movie. Um, I think it's not considered murder on kind of the comedy. I, I would say, or or this is also uh, The Illusionist. Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm. Hugh Jackman in a, a great film. Prestige. 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 Ah, that motherfucker. Yeah, it happens every, every time. time. Yeah, but, yeah. but he kills his, his clone. Is it his clone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he creates a clone. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it came out in like two thousand. So no, fucking suck my dick. I, I think the act of suicide is ending like your. I think it's murder. I think it's yes. murder. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. like suicide is like, I'm turning the lights out on this thing right here. Like my brain, this one right here. Bro, I'm reading we a book right now. DM- I mean, honestly, like, it's not exact, exact. But it kind of is, right? Identical twins have, like, the identical DNA. Now, it's not like a clone, but it's like if a twin killed them, another twin, we wouldn't it's, even be having this conversation. Yeah, it's, it's murder. Know? So, yeah. like, it's it's probably – I don't know the difference between t- twins and clones on, like, a DNA level. Like, scientifically, what's the difference if there is much of one or whatever? But that's not suicide, you know? Yeah. Like, the same DNA doesn't mean 
you're killing yourself, it means you're killing a it, copy it, of it, yourself. It, I don't even think murder's about the taking away of a life. It's about punishing the ability, the fact that you can do it. Like I don't, I don't even think we got enough people. We don't have to punish people for taking away life. We punish <laughs> people for having that gene where you're okay doing it. <laughs> Wait, what? You like, lost like, me. Like, 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 like the loss of a person. Ah, come on. Okay. Yeah, it's eight billion of them. It's, it's, it's no big deal, us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact that you possess the ability to kill a person. That's what we're punishing, right? Not the act of it, right? Because we right, gotta right, we'll right. just make another person, right? But you, you're it's so you're, easy you're, to make you're a bad. You're, can, yeah, people yeah. make people accidentally, right? That's we're, we're cloning that, people apparently. That's how easy we're, it is to make a person. Yeah. It happens on accident, yeah, very right. often. <laughs> so we could just make a new one. It's not in, a, in Texas. It's gonna happen a lot <laughs> yeah. more often. Um, but the uh, I, I mean, I understand that you know the philosophical like it's a fun ATI kind of debate to have, but it's not fucking real no oh, i had a good ATI. But you I you said you right said down. suicide and the book i'm reading has she talks about uh suicide in such a cool cool way where she says she says that what people don't understand and i'm paraphrasing and i might be getting it wrong but the book i'm reading is called sorrow and bliss it's a novel it's very good um and uh but she says that people people don't get about suicide is that you're not you don't want to kill yourself. It's just that you realize your existence is a mistake and it's up to you to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's fucking poetic. Man. Getting, it's getting you realize and you shouldn't here, be man. here and it's up, it's on uh, you. I, 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 I think you said it this weekend on the KFC Raider handle, Nick. I think it was you. We're going to need a bigger jar. Because we're getting. I think that was. Uh, that was uh, Zach, I think. One of, one of the team guys out here hit the nail on the head. We're going to need a bigger <laughs> job. Next up. What up, KFC, Fights, Nick, Jackie, everyone else? Um, 3.30 in the morning. I'm on a 13-hour car ride right now. My girlfriend and I were just wondering, how long would it take you and one other person to rack up a $1,000 bill at Chili's? And you can't leave until your bill hits $1,000. Hours of operation slash kitchen hours don't apply, so... You can order as many drinks and as much food whenever you want. You can sleep there, but you can't leave the Chili's until you hit a thousand dollar bill. Um, we all know Fights is going to think he can do it in like two hours. We saw him try to eat all those McChickens at the live show. It didn't go well, but uh, like yeah, you, you let me know what okay. you guys so think. I, I think he, I think he's saying like you have to finish all the food and drinks right within reason. I mean, I don't like always clean my plate like down to the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. last French fry. I mean, and only two people. We we kind of we we put a hurting on that uh, that other competitor to Chili's yep. that banned us for life. They who should not be named. Uh, there's the two hour mark. Um, <laughs> yep. The um, and th the three of us ordered everything on the menu. Everything on the menu. And I don't remember what the bill was, but we also didn't eat all the things. So I know this and, is and, something and really we're going to be like, I can here. do this no problem. But uh, this would take a long time, I think. Your secret weapon here is going to be drinks. Yes, because you gotta. But no, because if you drink too many of those, then like you're you're down for the count. I think you gotta, if you find that perfect sweet spot where you've racked up a good alcohol bill with two guys, ten drinks, ten drinks each. Yeah, because then you do ten drinks each in my heyday. Yeah, now that would kill me. But ten drinks ten per drinks, per come guy. On, come on, ten drinks per guy. Can drunk we do enough this three to weeks really, ago? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> ten ten drinks per guy. Then you're drunk and you're ordering all the food, but still, I mean, ten drinks. But ten drinks per guy, you're probably knocking off three hundred bucks right there. Are we doing with tip? By the now, way, now, no, no. And now we got to get seven hundred dollars worth of food at Chili's. Let's do average. I mean, Chili's has a three for ten thing. So yeah. your first, your first drink is going to be included with an app and an entree. So I, that's tough, man. Can I turn down the specials? <laughs> Look, I'm all set. Yeah, yeah. That. Give me full price, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, like. The average prices on the Chili's menu ranges from $6 to $17. 17, kick it up, baby. Bro, that's why a steak. 17 is the highest we can go. We're going to be here a long time, dude. Yeah. I mean, like, let's we, just say three meals a day at the highest price. Let's round up and say it's a New York City place. Let's give it, let's give you, let's say it's $25 in New York oh, City. Okay. Big baller. 75 bucks. A day of you're just doing like one meal, you know. But then you get the appies in there because Appies, I think Appies you got a little more leeway. 
with with like finishing the plate because no one finishes appetizers. So let, you know what you really got to do is break it down by meal. Each meal you have to get to uh, like fifty bucks because then you could do one fifty a day. You do one fifty. That's three hundred. Then we could do like a weekend maybe. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, we could we could knock it out in a weekend, and that's like, and that's if you just sit there and do meals. If we like pick all day and we eat all day, but I don't know if I get like fifty dollars worth of food at Chili's per meal. For me, like I don't have a big stomach, so I have to get like a full appetizer, uh, a full entree, and some dessert, and finish it all each and every time. If there's a judge being like, "No, nah, you didn't eat enough there," it, it could linger on. But I think like in a week, yeah, like a, a two, two and a half days, like go f go Friday night, go through s all day Saturday. And all day Sunday. I think I think we could do Friday Saturday. Friday, I, think, Sunday. I think we could have Sunday for poops. <laughs> well, we're gonna need them. <laughs> we're gonna need them. Sundays for so, the poops. So so could you? Yeah, as a uh, to a man, could you eat five hundred dollars worth of chilies in two days? If I can drink, yes. If I'm going for it, and I mean, yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's nah, like, this is easy. This is easy. Yeah. In two days, five hundred bucks. If you yeah yeah, I mean, Happy. but you know, if you think about it, ordinarily, uh, you know, in two days, I would do like a hundred dollars worth of food at Chili's if I went back to back days, like maximum. You yeah. know what I mean? But this is not five hundred. Wait, the drinks are the secret weapon. Yeah. Drinks are expensive. Yeah. The drinks like you, you could get yourself a fucking big margarita. That's probably twenty bucks. Yeah, those. And and and, yeah, and it's and mostly sugar. If we're doing, not, they're not even hitting you with the booze. Listen, we go to we go to Chili's in Times Square. We might be able to do this in six hours. Right. <laughs> we might be able to do this one sitting. But uh, I think conservatively, reasonably, would be a weekend. But uh, give us your time predictions. Let's do our last voicemail of the day since this is a big ass episode. It's brought to you by Upstart. Upstart debt is a motherfucker. If you're one of these doctors that we talked about, uh, or anybody who who paid for school, paid to get started. Uh, you're in debt for various reasons. Upstart can help you pay off that debt with a personal loan all online. That's the best part. You do everything on the internet. Paying off credit cards. If you're consolidating other uh, debt, other high interest debt, uh, let's say you're funding a personal expense. You have like a big thing that plopped in your lap. Like, oh shit, I got to pay this bill. I got to pay for this thing. I got to buy this piece of property. I got to pay for this bill, this tuition, whatever. Uh, that's where Upstart comes in. And they will get you a uh, a personal loan to take care of it with one fixed monthly payment uh, to to pay the whole thing off. They know that the key here is that they know you're more than just your credit score because there are banks and places that will just look at your number, and if you don't fit the number, you don't fit in their box, you're out. But I think Upstart knows there are idiots like us who are like, oh, you didn't pay your fucking gym membership that one time, so technically you have a bad credit score. But look at how much money this guy has, or look I, what, his, what his salary is. I didn't pay. I didn't return a cable box one time. You're fucked. I didn't pay a gym membership one fucked. time. And this one was my mother's fault. She didn't tell me that she my credit card was not my responsibility. <laughs> That's not her fault. Yes, it is. No, it is because I, 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 I was in college. I had an emergency credit card, which obviously I didn't just use for emergencies. Naturally. And then she just didn't tell me that that was my, like, she's like, once once she realized I wasn't using for emergencies, she just, she's like, I'm done paying it. And just didn't tell me for like five years. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what your credit score was after that? Oh, I mean, it was in the gutter. I'm pretty, I'm pretty afraid that my credit score, every time I've been afraid of my credit score, it's been good. So I'm hoping I still ride that wave. But I 100% I wholeheartedly know I have a gym thing going on. They called me a couple times during COVID, and I was like, bro, it's COVID. We're not doing this. Yeah. yeah. I would hope they just did, like, forgiveness at fucking Crunch or yeah, wherever Yeah, you, you can't even kick me out of my fucking apartment. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Um, so Upstart knows all of these things happen. They know that you have a good job and, and you're steady otherwise, that you deserve a, a good loan and you deserve to get out from underneath your debt. All it takes is a five-minute online rate check. And you can find uh, you can get an upstart loan for between one and fifty thousand dollars, and you can get the funds in as fast as one business day. Uh, find out how. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments when you go to upstart.com slash KFC. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information you provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash KFC. KFC fight. Jackie, what's up? I got a doozy for you. Driving home in a fucking monsoon right now. So I just heard a good one. Uh, my buddy's got a fancy football league. The stipulation for the last place team this year, got to make an OnlyFans account. But you can only stop the OnlyFans account after you've made 100 bucks. I'd love to hear your take on it. Diva. I was going to say, 
that's you know whatever you can make it and then but like so you gotta make you gotta earn that's cool that's a very but also like what's the punish there's got to be something punishing you for every like month that goes by that you don't have that hundred dollars something happens to like you. you gotta grind more because i could just be like never happened guys sorry you know what i mean yeah, every month have extra fifty bucks, or like you never get back in the league, or something like that. You know, I think every month fifty bucks goes up, and then it's like yeah, because you, like, you gotta promote that shit on your IG. Yeah. Like you could like your I credit mean, score goes down. Like you, I mean, like there is a way. You should also have to monitor where this money's coming from, because like he could yeah, get his girl just fucking, to yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah, 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 yeah. pay him a hundred right. bucks or whatever it is. Right. Like, but that yeah, if, like an honest hundred dollars on OnlyFans. How long do you think that would take you? I think I could do that very fast. Well, I mean, obviously, it's kind of cheating with like ten thousand dollars in a minute. <laughs> we, could, we could be. I mean, I, I, I gotta practice what I preach. I tell girls all the time, "You should do it." Like, bro, we should do it. <laughs> um, Just fucking me but, getting but, rectal but what exams. A, what a what a great what. I, oh, I said this the other day on. Uh, I did cameo for. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of cameos for people for who do fantasy drafts. I guess it's a big thing. You have people like announce the draft order and all uh -huh. that shit. And one guy. They had a they had a uh, draft they they had a fantasy football penalty. Uh, yes, everybody has a penalty. So the guy who came in last place, you have to go to dinner with a sex doll. You have to sit down at a restaurant with a Japanese sex doll. And I was thinking, what a sneaky great thing if you lose. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you can be like. Oh yeah, I got this sex doll because of <laughs> fantasy football. I gotta take it to dinner. The guys won't let me play, and then you go home and you fuck that sex doll all the time, <laughs> bro. And if anybody ever catches you? Anybody ever finds it? Oh, that was the thing. That was the bet. I don't. You can think... fuck a sex doll all you want, John. I don't you think got the I want to fuck a sex doll. I do. I, you like, want to fuck a sex robot? I, I do. Sex doll? Oh, well, well, hang on. Oh, we're robot, different yeah, yeah. things now. But, but also a sex... They, they're making these fucking things look real now. Yeah, but like that... Like, they're too real. Like, it's... You're such a fucking pussy prude. I I, I think that, a, like, fucking a sex doll is, is just a little bizarre. It's a little too weird for me. Yeah, so is fucking wanting thermometers up your ass, but you ain't here. I didn't bitch. want it. I just allowed it. <laughs> different. <laughs> I didn't fucking put in a request, wanted, Kevin. I allowed it, dude. I went on for like I, five that's, minutes. That's basically every time I have sex. <laughs> I didn't want it. I allowed it. I didn't it. want. I just allowed things to happen. That to would me. hold up in a court of law. I didn't want it. I allowed it. I told. I went on for like five minutes on this cameo, being like, "This is good, dude. This guy's actually a winner. I w I would join this league just to lose because I could get a fake. I gotta get a. I could get a. I have a fake excuse to get a sex doll. Same thing here. What if this guy takes off? What if? What if it's like? Oh yeah, I gotta do this because of a joke, and then all of a sudden he like, <laughs> it's like it's like the first step is is the the biggest step. You know right. what I mean? All of a sudden he's so. Like, making... wait, all right, so let's let's go to this. All right, like say you're a, I mean, nobody's not a nice word, but you're not Kevin Clancy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. How are you? Well, first of all, how are oh, you no. getting your promotion? Second of all, what's your first pick? I, you're popping I, up? I think I would go to Barstool Sports because like a blogger could pick this up. You know what right. I mean? Um. And I think you got to try to try to get at somebody like that, you know, like get somebody to amplify your message by. Okay, but then what's your first pick? Um, what do you mean my first? Like what I'm going to do on OnlyFans? Yeah, like, like P you picture. You mean? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking vid. Yeah. Um, oh, you going vids? I think it's got to be vids. I think it's got to be something funny. Is yeah. That Is that allowed? It's allowed. Am I hot? A funny Am picture. No, you're Kevin Clancy. Okay, because it's like. Well, no, yes, you're Kevin Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you. Because I, because I actually think, it, yeah, I don't think sexy works for a random like dude, a girl, no problem, obviously. But a guy, I think it's got to be like, I will, like, do X Y Z. I'll like do some jackass shit or whatever. If uh, I think it's funny if you try and be sexy. I don't think people like. Remember, want it. remember when we did that with Snapchat? We had that Snapchat show. Uh, outside of snow, but that, that Snapchat deal, we we're out in LA with all the influencers, yeah, and we were just trying yeah, to be sexy, yeah, yeah, to mock it, yeah, yeah, like, mock like sexy. But even that, it's like I don't want even see someone joking around being sexy if you're just some random dude. But I do want to see like, yo, that dude said he'll like, you know, tase himself or jump off of a fucking this or that or you know, what I mean? yeah, like something yeah. like that. That's like some Steve O shit. I think is realistically your best shot. Hundred dollars is pretty, pretty low when you, if you're thinking about like. You know, you just don't want to do this because it's an aggravation. It's like a punishment. But if you had to do it, I think you can make a hundred. I think so. Too. You got to put yeah. that up a little higher. If we're talking about just like you got it, like your life's on the line. Yeah, what if you said a grand? Yeah, grand, like your, your life's on the line. You got to make a thousand dollars on OnlyFans. What are you doing? That's a great question. 
That's a great question. Girls don't count. <laughs> Girls yeah. don't count. Yeah, I'm sticking my finger in my ass. Yeah, done. <laughs> I made a hundred thousand like in a in a fucking night. God, wouldn't that be like uh, this podcast is too long? I could go on forever. But if I was a hot chick and I just had, if I knew I had the ability, just all I gotta do is stick my finger in my ass right now, <laughs> and I'm gonna make like fifty thousand uh, dollars. There was somebody in our Facebook uh, discussion group. She started an OnlyFans, made three grand in ten days, and she's like, "Everybody, go start one." Yeah, I mean that's you know you can make some big. Also, banks. tell her to send that link. Yeah, oh, free fuck <laughs> it with a with a promo code. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into our interviews. Uh, we start off with Elijah Wood. You've seen him uh, in Middle Earth and Lord of the Rings. You've seen him in Green Street Hooligans. He's got a new movie uh, about the Ted Bundy murders. Uh, just one of the all time. He's just got like hits, you know, like good, solid movies. I mean, like, oh yeah, Sin City, awesome. Lord of the Rings, awesome. Like, it's just everything he's done has been solid, good movies. And he's a young dude. He's like our age. He's been mega famous for all these years. Still a great guy. It's brought to you by Three Chi. A uh, quick little disclaimer here: there's a lot of hospital talk in these two interviews. In fact, Elijah Wood tells me, uh, Nick, to go to the hospital. <laughs> go to the hospital right fucking now. I think was his exact quote. Uh, don't worry, I went to the hospital. I'm fine. You can't kill me. I met with Bezos' guys. <laughs> Live forever. Unfortunately, wouldn't that be the ultimate little twist if you were the guy who lives forever? <laughs> little, little black mirror for you. <laughs> All right, interview time. Elijah Wood and Ari Shafir. Let's do it. What's, What's up, up man? brother? How we doing? I'm good. How are you? We're doing well. We're doing well. Awesome. Well, actually, that's a lie. No, yeah, Kevin he, just lied to you to start I, the interview, which I, is the I worst say, way to start an I interview. I should say, I am doing well. My friend here is not doing well. I'm dying. Elijah, Why seriously? are you not... As soon as he's in a Why are you not doing so well? Uh, I have uh, I'm in, uh, stage three hypertension right now. As soon as this interview's done, I'm going right to the hospital. But I just wanted to you know I'm staying for you. So no pressure, Elijah. Yeah. yeah, what if I die right in the middle of this? Wait, stage three hypertension? What? Why? <laughs> his, 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 his blood pressure's like through the roof. It's like 150 <laughs> over 110. No, it's 160 over 116 right now. Dude. Are you sure you want to do this interview? That's yeah, what I said. Fuck I'm yeah, like, I am. You think I'm missing this? Let's <laughs> you're, go. You're, this is a high compliment. This man's willing to put his life on the line for you, pal. Yeah, if I make well, any weird take... faces, it's just my heart beating out of my chest. <laughs> Dude, please take care of yourself. <laughs> Holy shit. I, 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 it's actually perfect that you're on because, like, what's, what's your secret? Because I feel like you haven't aged in, like, 25 years, man. <laughs> I feel like you look the same way you did back, know, back in Lord of the Rings. It's crazy. I, I I don't have anything to attribute that to beyond good genes, I guess, or yeah. just, I don't know. I've always looked young. I've, I've always looked younger than I am. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's, that's why. Is that, know. is that yeah. something that you, yeah, I feel like you hate that when you're younger and then when you're older, you're like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and when I was younger, I think, you know, as I was sort of clearly an adult, I looked younger. I looked like I was a teenager, maybe. So I think that's when it was at its most annoying, just because right. I wanted to be seen as being in my 20s and early 30s, and I, sure. I people perceive me as younger. Um, but no, it's it's rad now. I mean, I just turned 40, so. Jeez. <laughs> like it's well, but I, I mean, I was I was stunned to see that only because not because you look older or anything, obviously not, like I just said. But that means you were you know you were young when you were first getting when when Lord of the Rings first popped off, right? How old were you? I was 18 when Jeez. we started shooting. Um, yeah, so I was 22 by the end of it. Once the once Return of the King was released, I was 22. That 18, at, you know, like you, you yeah. go in as like a child actor almost, and you come out as like a you know 20 something veteran. It's that's crazy. It's, person sort of, in the world. Yeah. It's, <laughs> right. it's not dissimilar actually to going to university. Yeah, you know? right. Like you went you, to Lord you, of the Rings college. You college. Yeah, you go to college at 18, and you come out in your early 20s. It was the same. It was the same thing. Or you know, you go to the military. Like there was something about that those years that were. It was sort of apropos that I was going away to New Zealand to mm -hmm. work on this thing, that was so all-consuming, mm -hmm. and and also so defining in my life. Sure. And I was also becoming a man. At the yeah. Same time. Right. Right. It was. It was there were so many things happening in parallel that made that an even more profound experience. I now, think. now, while I, I do understand the parallels, um, like I went to college and I uh, came out of it as an accountant <laughs> and you went to college and you came out of it a fucking global icon, <laughs> a Hollywood icon. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> 
Yeah, same thing. Slept in dorms, I'm sure. Kevin paid 250 grand. I think you probably made a little bit more than that. <laughs> it's incredible, man. I mean, at that age, when when you're 18 and you land, that's a role that I mean, you know, you know, you have a hit on your hands, right? Like, there's no, you know, the book is so well. It's not like it's a, you know, oh god, we're gonna hope we hope this book adapts well. It's like this is gonna be a hit, right? You knew that you had that on your hands. We knew that it was a, a film series of significance, and mm -hmm. we had a feeling that based on the, the legions of fans of the books, that there would be a, that it, there was a built-in audience for the movies. Mm -hmm. But it was still a risk. You know, the, the, the scale and scope of what they were trying to do or what they did was unprecedented, and certainly at that budget level. Um, and there was a lot of risk involved. You know, typically, if you make a trilogy, you make one film, you see how it performs right? from a studio standpoint anyway. And then you're able to kind of go, OK, we can rest assured that there's an audience for this and we can invest in the other two films. This was taking that risk from the from the get go. It was the move to make because there's no other way to make these stories because it is one continuous journey. Right. It had to be done this way. But there was a lot of risk involved for certainly for New Line. Now, for us, did we know it was going to be successful? I think we felt like it would be a significant movie, but there was no way to know that it was going to be what it became. Right. There, there just isn't. Like you're you're too in you're too in the mix of it. You know? Right. Right. We were in we're living in New Zealand, kind of very much tucked away from the rest of the world, and this is kind of early days internet too. So yeah. The One Ring .net existed. There were certainly like spies trying to get information from the set, but even that was in its infancy. The spread of information was kind of just beginning. There was right. no Twitter yet. There was no Facebook. So what? we really were kind of weirdly tucked away in the, this corner of the world, living in isolation, kind of, mm -hmm. living in our fantasy realm of our own creation. So that when the movies came out, there was an anticipation on our side of like, it's going to be something. Right. But what it became, there was no, there was Forget just it. no way to know. Yeah. No way to know. Now you're talking about New Zealand a lot. And uh, you recently had a tweet with the facepalm emoji with the, um, <laughs> was it the yeah, is yeah, it yeah, Amazon? Is it an Amazon series? Yeah. The Amazon, Amazon, the Amazon sort of Lord of the Rings series, which is actually not Lord of the Rings. It's, I mean, it, it's a, it's fair enough. They're using that placeholder. Um, it's about, I think it takes place in the second age of Middle Earth. So it's about, I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds of years prior to the events of Lord of the Rings. But um, yeah, they, they shot the first season uh, in New Zealand, which makes sense given that that's, you know, up until now, that is the, the sort of established place of Middle Earth mm -hmm. from a scenic s scenario, mm -hmm. uh, landscape, so on and so forth. And yeah, they, they, they moved, the, the season two is going to be shot in the UK. And look, you know, all the power to them, but they, they clearly have their reasons for moving it to another country. Um, it just, from, from my perspective, just reading that news, my, yeah, my, my knee jerk reaction was a face palm just cause it's like, well, fuck, you know, it, 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 you go to, when you go to New Zealand, they say, welcome to middle earth. Like it, it's so well established. <laughs> right. Right. You know what I so, mean? so was that, sort of was that like, from a point of view of like, you're a fan of the material and you want it to stay authentic or is that from a point of view of I had to fucking go live in New Zealand for four years and you guys get to stick around in, in the UK? No, it's an emotional, it's an emotional response. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. love New Zealand. It feels like the work that, and again, like they're doing their own thing. So they don't have to adhere to our work, but mm -hmm. the work that had been done by so many people established New Zealand as geographically on film as Middle Earth. So it just feels like because it has everything, the landscapes have been so established. Shouldn't it stay there spiritually? Mm -hmm. So it's like an a it's an emotional response. Yeah. I, I have a spiritual connection to the, the country. I, I, I you know the country has a spiritual connection to a degree to the material after all these years, over twenty years. Right. So it just seems like you know it'd be nice to keep it there. But then again, <laughs> I don't know the ins and outs. This is from like reading headlines. Yeah. yeah. They probably have their yeah. their 
there are very good reasons for doing it, and I'm sure it'll be awesome. Hey, and England is gorgeous. El so Elijah, we have Twitter too. We understand how it works. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you want me to like read things and read? No, no, no. I'm gonna fucking have a knee jerk reaction to this. Yeah. And when Twitter asks me, do I want to read the article? I'm gonna say no, thank you. I'm just gonna send this emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love, I love that. But it's kind of amazing on Twitter's on 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 their behalf actually that Twitter started to do that thing of like. How, do you, are you sure you want to comment on this? Have yes. you not read it? You yeah. read it I love I, it's kind of brilliant. I say like I'll be like, man, fuck off. And they're like, Are you sure you want to send this? I'm like, Yes, I am. That's exactly what I want to send. Uh, is it weird for you to watch to be a fan of the the, uh, the Lord of the Rings type material that you're not in, you know, when the uh, the second trilogy comes out or this this uh this TV show, do you ever are you able to just watch it as a regular fan or do you get no, critical? It's, it's Fun. Yeah. No, no, no. It's really fun. It's super fun. Because I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm married to having played a, a char like one character. Right. Um, that character exists within the confines of that story. Um, so anything outside of that, I, I just, I'm excited. I love Tolkien. I, I actually, as a child, read The Hobbit. That was my connection to Tolkien. So you know, so thrilled to be able to see The Hobbit films realized mm -hmm. and. To see that story come to life as a fan so i'm thrilled to see what they're doing with the series i think the idea of delving into some of the more um the the lesser known storytelling yeah. within the context of that universe is super thrilling and i just i don't i don't know what it is and i'm i'm as excited as anybody else as a as a fan i and i don't have any you know i don't have any connection beyond just having been a part of the sort of alumni of, of Tolkien, if you will. Right. So I, I just excited, you know, uh, speaking of Lord of the Rings, what do you think your most iconic piece of work is? And why is it green street? <laughs> green street's fucking awesome, man. God, bro, it's such a great bro, movie. I got drunk in high school watching green street with like 10 of my friends. Yeah. And we all shaved the PD slice in the eyebrow into our eye. <laughs> that is amazing. Green Street, Green. Talk about becoming a man. I remember watching Green Street, being like, yeah. "I'm a boy. I got to become a man. Yeah. I got to be like, I'm gonna go get in a fight in the alley right now." You know, that's a great that's movie. Amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that comes back a lot. People really connect with that film. It's got a real dedicated group of fans which is awesome well i mean um, there's a lot so who, who's more who's more dedicated uh lord of the rings fans or green street hooligans fans because it's probably more lord of the rings fans but i can imagine it being a rabid I was crew say, <laughs> yeah the lord of the rings fans just are are more probably more extensive uh and maybe more dedicated in in a way but then you know if you're talking about like actual football fans and football fans that are are you know keen on violence mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a whole other subject um, i i read that's still very much this you know that that book got me to i mean that movie got me to read the book among the thugs by bill buford which is like a great movie a great book about uh soccer uh hooliganism and then hooliganism. uh yeah and then when i got into soccer i almost chose west ham Strictly for that reason, and then I was like, "Oh wait, they're really bad." Never mind. <laughs> I was like, "I kind of want a chance to win." <laughs> you know, what was kind of cool is when we when we made the film, you know, the 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 in the script, the central um, and it's in the film, the central sort of rivalry is between West Ham and Millwall, um, and while we were in pre production, they actually played each other. Oh wow! So we got to actually go. And that doesn't always happen that they're paired off against one another. Right. So we got to go see a, a West Ham Millwall game for real, mm. uh, and it was intense. Yeah, <laughs> was intense. yeah. Are, were, are you in? Were you in uh, soccer you know, prior to that? Was was that or is that just an acting really, role for you? Yeah, yeah. Not really. I mean, I you know down in New Zealand, um, many of our cast were English, so many many uh, football fans amongst our cast. So I was exposed to it a lot, um, and certainly watched matches. Um, and had you know a, a sort of like bystanders um, investment, I suppose, right? Just by by the nature of being friends with these folks, uh, but never got into it. I never really have been a sports fan, and I grew up. You know, I was born in Iowa. Um, my father and my brother, huge huge sports fans, still to this day, big sports fans. I just never, I never cared. The only time I really genuinely care about sports is when there's something at stake. So like any playoff situation um or any championship where it kind of comes down to two teams and there's 
there's human drama involved because there is a uh, there is, you know, a favorite and there is an underdog yeah. that just becomes it's so fascinating. Well, that's to me. sports, I, man. I that's the storyline. That's that's why we like it is that's, for that drama. That's, right. that's it. Right. Exactly. Right. By the way, you know what you hit us with just there? I don't know if you even noticed. It's it, when you were referring to uh, like how Lord of the Rings was like college. You hit us with a down in New Zealand. That's like that's the movie version of saying I went to college in Cambridge, yeah. like just outside Boston. Down in New Zealand. That's fucking funny. Down in New Zealand. So uh, the new movie, uh, No Man of God, uh, dives into yes. the the Ted Bundy uh, world and 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 really fascination, which I think is one of the weirdest fucking things about the human race <laughs> like <laughs> why this guy is so captivating and and women are attracted to him and, yeah, and, I know. you know it's like what the well, that's it it's, it's it's that's a whole other thing too is you know to to explore that psychologically not just with ted bundy but with other serial killers these women that that these legions of fans yeah that sort of you it's, know, it's one thing if, fan if he was a he's a good looking guy to, and he attracted women in real life. But then after the fact, well, we know he's a serial killer. There are still women who are like, oh, my God, so dreamy. Like, what the hell's wrong Isn't with the it girls? Isn't yeah. it crazy? It works that is on, a thing. Is, yeah, definitely. It even yeah. works on a smaller scale now with, like, just the true crime podcasts, mm -hmm. where it's not it's not an obsession with a murderer. It's an obsession with murder as a whole. The whole genre. Where it's like, sure. it's, it's a, like my, my girlfriend's definitely one of them. She's obsessed with my favorite murder and, and reading murder books. I'm like... What? It's fascinating what? stuff. Like, yeah. what is wrong with you? Like, and I and I get it. I, I I get obsessed with stupid things too. But I'm like, you know, like that doesn't bother you at night. Because guess what? It's not mostly guys like me getting killed. It's probably like, you. It's, the stories you're listening to. It's someone who looks like you getting killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I think what makes Ted specifically so fascinating, and why people kind of keep why we keep coming back around. To You know, he was reasonably attractive, uh, um, charismatic, very intelligent. Um, very successfully kind of managed to have a whole life for himself that would have made it very impossible and did for many people to believe that he was capable of what he did. Right. So that, I think that's the thing, like that this person, this very like charismatic, again, attractive, classic American man, you know, classic good looks, whatever, that this guy could do that. But is, isn't that also always the way? I think it breaks way? people's brains like, because I, you're like, that's not. I, I feel yeah. like you often hear people be like, yeah, you know, he was my neighbor and he was the nicest guy. It, it, it doesn't seem like there's ever like, oh yeah, no, that guy did it. He's fucking crazy. You hear that, you hear the, but you hear the, he was really nice. Mm -hmm. He kept to himself. Right. He wasn't very social. He didn't really go out much. I didn't really see him that much. Yeah. It's, it's that thing. Like, you know, um, I'm trying to think, well, like John Wayne Gacy, for instance, you know, he was a children's clown, like a, a clown for hire, but nobody, you know, he wasn't like a successful member of society. Like right. th these people tend to be a little shy, a little removed, kind of on the on the sort of um, periphery of society for the most part. Ted was sort of right out front. Right. You know, he was like, again, in, in local politics, like wanted very much sort of didn't hide himself like was just out there um and again i think that's why he's sort of fascinating to the point where he had the fucking hubris to represent himself yeah. on the he didn't yeah. he he declined a lawyer right like no i'll be my own lawyer because i'm smarter than all of you like and he failed he wasn't right. smarter than <laughs> it didn't, didn't work out yeah but that's but that's the person that he was you know a great a great deal of hubris and a, and a lot of charisma that sort of he kind of got by on that um but i think that's why he's fascinating why people keep coming back to that story which brings us to this version of the story or this part of his story that hadn't really been told before and i think that's why we wanted to make this movie is 
there's every version of the Ted Bundy story has been told certainly of the murdering Ted Bundy. And what was fascinating about this was his relationship with this FBI profiler, Bill Hagmeyer. Um, and it was a part of the story I didn't know. I didn't know that this FBI profiler had sat with him for a number of interviews and had exchanged all these his these letters with him over the course of four years to the point where Ted considered him his best friend before he died and willed all of his earthly possessions to wow. Bill, whom oh, I think Bill subsequently God. gave to Ted's sister because he was like, I don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> not. <laughs> now there, there, there's yeah, a good he, question. If Ted Bundy left you a nice sum of money or some cool shit. Are you just taking that and being like, well, you know. I'll, I'll probably keep the cash. Keep the cash. <laughs> <laughs> he earned that through politics, not murdering. <laughs> that, that's not blood money. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. I, though. Wow. I, I also, I, did, I had not, did not know that story at all. And that is, it is a wild yeah, one watching the it, trailer. And it, is, it, it has the, one of our favorite shows of late is Mindhunter. And it has that kind of oh, mind yeah. hunter feel yeah. to it, which is mm -hmm. just unbelievable. That that relationship yeah. between yeah. investigator and criminal, and they kind of create, they have like a bond in a weird way. Yeah, and there's a sort of, you know, there's a verbal chess match that's happening. And, and the kind of central kind of thesis, if there is one to the film, is this idea of, you know, Ted's, which is can, can, can anyone murder? And his, his thesis is yes. I'm not strange, I'm not exceptional, I'm not crazy, anybody's capable of doing this. And that's what he sets out to sort of prove in these kind of verbal, uh, you know, spats or conversations that take place. And for Bill, it's to prove that no, not anybody can be capable of what it is that you do. And that's sort of at the core of it. And I think a lot of that is just so Ted, Ted, Ted didn't wanna seem crazy, he didn't wanna be crazy, um, and I think he wanted for his own sanity to believe that anybody could do what he did. Mm -hmm. And and Bill was sort of setting out to sort of say, no, <laughs> no you, can't, you, are, dude. <laughs> you are unique. And, yeah. and, you know, not everybody is capable of doing what you did in this in this particular way. Which is a um, funny argument for so Bundy to yeah. make. You, you so, think you'd want to be you. special, right? Because like he is, he does act like he's exceptional. Where he's like, yeah. I don't need a lawyer. I'm smarter than all of you. But then he says he's normal in that other aspect of his life. Yeah. Yes, but I think, to, yes, but when I, th when I think faced with death, um, also trying to stay as execution, right. mind yeah. you, like, <laughs> he, he desperately was trying to, you know, present that that he he was he was grasping at straws at the end of his life. He was literally trying to hold on to anything that could keep him alive, and one of them was to 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 try and you know articulate to. The law enforcement community, community that he was an asset. I can be an asset. I keep me alive. I can, I can, you know, I can profile too. I can help with these cases. So he he was really making inroads to try and be this asset to to be a reason, to, like to create a reason for him to stay alive. Mm -hmm. And I think also when faced with death, the reality of what he had done was apparent to him. And I think I don't know that he felt what was any degree of what we would consider guilt, but I think. He definitely upon face with death was dealing with a reckoning. And I think, you know, this idea of proving that anybody was capable of doing it, that he wasn't extraordinary also meant that he just wasn't crazy or wasn't a psychopath. It wasn't mm -hmm. a sociopath. It didn't absolve him of guilt, but I think it made him feel better that maybe that other people could also do this too, you know, that he wasn't exceptional in that regard. Um, I don't know. Maybe I hope, it made I hope, feel... let's, let's hope he's wrong because if, if it is, if everybody's capable of it, that's, I think that's he's. A, I think he's. Wrong. I think he's. I think he's absolutely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely we can close the book on that one. Yeah. Um, is this something you do a lot of research for? Yeah, like, it sounds like, like you're you're well versed on this now. But it's also got to be some pretty you know, some research that keeps you up at night if you're doing a lot of the reading. It's not a rom com. Yeah, you know? I mean, I. I I had been doing what was unintentional research for years, just reading about this kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. watching documentaries, uh, reading bits and pieces here and there about various serial killers, just out of curiosity. The same thing that drives, you know, any true crime sort of nut now. Um, I, I've I've often been fascinated. So, you know, I knew a fair amount about a, about Ted prior to, to making the film. Um, but in terms of, you know, what I didn't know was Bill. And, and you know, it's it's a daunting thing to play someone who, who's alive. And obviously, if it weren't a movie made under COVID compliance, 
we would have, I would have loved to have spent time with Bill. And unfortunately mm -hmm. I was only ever able to talk to him on the phone. Um, but you know, had we made this at a different time, I would have gone back East and spent a lot of time with him because he's an incredibly fascinating individual who has, you know, a career that extends way past Bundy. I mean, Bundy was sort of the beginning of his career. Mm. Um, Eileen Warnos was someone else that he had many, many conversations with. Um, there were various serial killers as well as child molesters. And the, the, the most heinous people you can imagine, he has interviewed them. Um, and he has this incredible ability to walk into a scenario with someone that, you know, we deem monsters, I suppose and see them as human beings and thusly uh, they feel seen and are able to sort of communicate in a way mm -hmm. that otherwise they probably wouldn't want to open up. Um, he gets that kind of out of people and not in any kind of manipulative way. I think he just genuinely is disarming and human and, you know, uh, tries to see the humanity in people despite their heinous acts. Mm. Um, so anyway, I, I did get to have conversations with him and, uh, or, you know, a long conversation with him and it was awesome. And, and I, I, that helped me understand what it meant to, to be a person like him walking into a room with that person. And a lot of that was a great deal of research. The thing about Ted was that Ted didn't trust law enforcement and would kind of had a major bullshit meter um and would sort of not give you anything if he felt like you had an agenda and so bill's thing prior to to, to meeting with him they exchanged a number of letters but he, he talked to a lot of people who had prior experience talking to him to sort of build up this understanding of how do i approach this person mm -hmm. what is this person going to expect of me how do i walk into this room uh and how do i how do i sort of navigate that conversation it was just fascinating to to learn that and understand you know how how you psychologically prepare yourself yeah. for that well plus you, you've got your experience uh from sin city dealing with whatever the fuck was going on with your character <laughs> in that movie holy shit that keeps me up at night that was that was a weird that had to be one of the weirdest characters of all time no <laughs> oh fuck yeah kevin was fun <laughs> yeah. Really fun. yeah i mean i love the i love the graphic novel so much and um you know getting a chance to play any character in that universe was a treat. Um, and yeah, playing that particular character, the sort of mute cannibal uh, oh. was, was really fun. We, shot, glasses, like, we shot the man. whole thing in two oh. days. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two days, shit. My part of it, we shot in two days because it was all against green screen. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only physical sets they had were like the bar. They had a couple of physical sets, but most of it was green screen. So there wasn't like setups and lighting. It was all kind of general. Um, so it was really, really fast. And I didn't have any dialogue. It was all pretty much action. Yeah. Um, so it was really quick. We did everything in, in two days. It was it was a blast. Wow. <laughs> really Sounds like you've done it all, man, from you know, four years in uh, New Zealand to two days against the green screen and uh, now no man <laughs> no man of God is out now. So uh, everybody go check it out and we really appreciate the time, man. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Elijah. Uh, oh, dude, you're welcome. Nick, get yourself to a fucking yeah. hospital. Go now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah, a lot, man. brother. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, uh, big shout out to Elijah. Um, just he's a man, dude. Just, the absolute just man. like to be that cool and that famous and like uh, that. It's just that's that's one guy. It's like boy, fame did not that was, get to him or ruin him. Or that anything, was so you know? funny when he was like, was, "So when I was down in New Zealand, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> a casual throw out there." All right, Ari Shafir is on KC Radio. Just a crazy son of a bitch. Uh, who I'm always jealous of Ari is the way he lives his life where he just like can pick up and go. Bro, and he do says he just he takes a phone and just like throws, throws it, it in the river, river like see you never. Like, uh, and 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 everyone knows it, everyone's cool with it, and he just like lives his life. I'm always like every there's so many different ways to live your life. And Ari is living basically the polar opposite. He's a life. solid life. So uh check it out. It's it's Ari Shafir on KFC Radio. Yeah, uh, I was in the hospital that time too. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Fights was in the hospital last time. Like no answer for what was wrong with him that time. They were just like, what do you mean? I just like my throat. I look like a pelican. My throat like crazy. swelled up. It was like huge. It's probably just redhead inbred shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever got you to that haircut. Like, haircut got you. Like, it's gonna all break down soon. That orange hair. Dude. Yeah. No, I went to see the MD old. for it, and they just started treating for gonorrhea. <laughs> and then I, went, <laughs> no, I, went to, I went to the ER two days later. They're like, they're like, yeah, like 
He's like, why are they testing you for treating you for gonorrhea? I was like, I don't. I just took the medicine they gave me. Like, yeah, you can throw that away. That's not. What's That's wrong with all you. they do at City MD. They're I mean, well like, here's a Z pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, well. I plug this in somewhere. Does anybody have one? <laughs> Frightens white women so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you're, you're everything. Do it. Do it. Uh, yeah, I had to take a test for um, chlamydia. And because someone was like, I have chlamydia, you must have given it to me. One and two chance, you know, it's always that. And then, uh, and then I took a test, and then they lost the test. They just misplaced it. At CDMD? So, yeah. So well, that, to me, that's a negative. Yeah. yeah. I they're didn't like, get a positive, so I don't have chlamydia. They're like, we can do it again, but I'm like, I already took the treatment for it, but I need to know who to blame. <laughs> uh, now right. I don't know who to blame. Right. That is unfair. And that's, yeah. that's like I was supposed to fight without this information. Right. Yeah, we could test you again. But I'm like, you gave me the fucking pills. It's, it would have been gone already. Mm. I'm so fucking mad. At well, now you just pick whichever one you don't like, you know? Yeah. Blame that, blame that person. <laughs> Go that way. Yeah. So then, then yesterday, uh, he goes, we, we thought we had a maybe a COVID situation. Everyone went and got tested. And they're like, you don't have COVID, but you do have like severe hypertension blood pressure. I was, I was stage three hypertension. And they're like, they're like, if you don't get this down, he goes, the doctor goes, the doctor was a dickhead. He was not helpful. And which do you expect that? That's CMA? that attitude that gets you that high blood pressure. Yeah. Are you mad at people trying to help you? <laughs> he was like, he just goes, you have 48 hours. To live? I was like, I have 48 hours to what? He goes, <laughs> he goes to get that blood pressure down. I was like, okay, uh, how do I do that? He's like, well, I first of all, I'd relax. I'm like, well, you're not making that easy. Yeah. yeah and he goes, that's not my job. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like he said that. Is. Yeah. That's Fuck, not dude, my this job. Is like this, this is the high a, blood pressure doctor. This dude like the was doctor a from Arrested Development. Him. And then he was like, he's like, I don't know. I was like, so how do I get down? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? You don't know, bro. He's like, I, I'd probably just eat better, maybe exercise a bit. Maybe. <laughs> I probably, if I was me, oh. <laughs> I was like, it's right. not his job, but it's very close to his job. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as it's close like as give, it fucking you gets. You should be able to give me advice on how to be a little bit healthier. Come on. Right. That, that kind of is your fucking job. You need to hydrate. How, how do I do that? I like, mm -hmm. Find water <laughs> Figure somewhere. Figure it out yourself, yeah. bro. Pop this on. Let's see what your blood pressure is. Put it on, on, your, on the inside of your wrist. Oh, put it's a your, thing. Put your arm, What's yours? Put what your arm like this. Mine was like was good. It was like one thirty over eighty something. I love when they tell you your number. You're like, sweet. Is that yeah? Like I don't dying know. or perfect? Yeah. You know, I didn't go to medical school, so I'm gonna need yeah. a little more information than what my systolic and dystolic fucking blood pressure is. Over this, there you go. That's right. Though. <laughs> is that right? I think Someone I think cares. it's like one twenty over eighty is supposed to be like that's the. But so what the if desire. you're one twenty over ninety or one thirty over eighty? Like which ones? What's the? There is know? a chart. I probably have it double open both. still because yeah, <laughs> I've been just open. looking at it, panicking. 107 over 71. 71. I think Ari's dead. Yeah, what? I don't dude? think your your heart's <laughs> pumping. I am not surprised by that. I was gonna say before you took this because I'm cold blooded. I, I I honestly think like all the fucking like mushrooms and weird like yoga nonsense that you do. I feel like it helps. Relaxes you. me. Yeah, gets me to the 107, point. 107, 107, 107 over 71. 71. Let's just pop a picture of that so we have the fucking proof. 107 over 71 is like, I feel like that's bad in it the other direction. It indicates an ideal blood pressure. Ideal? 107, 71? Ideal. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on that, bitch. I thought that shit was going to be low. 107 ideal. over ideal 71. Ideal is low. It's, 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 so there's a target range right there. It's perfectly an ideal. You are like the... the Just like my weight. <laughs> you, you, are you... Um, like, Little weight, like you probably. No, I'm not. And everybody says you're thin, but you're not. No, I'm skinny fat. <laughs> what? I'm, yeah, I'm skinny fat. fat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of looking at your belly. Yeah. <laughs> I said it when I looked at face. And yeah, no, you, you. but you're like kind of uh, sneaky in shape and stuff. Like, do you try? I don't try. You're I always just once a week. If I start to get fat, then I'll be like, oh, let me fucking calm down for a minute. Meaning what? You don't Stop eat as much or you work out? Stop sugar. No, yeah. no, I won't work out. That's no, for yeah. losers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to die. And we live in a society that's college. 124 over 73. I'm back, baby. Yeah. That's like, that's, 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 that's beautiful. That's pretty good, yeah. That's fucking beautiful. <laughs> we're we're going to have our, our wall of fame here for all of our... <laughs> I, what happens if you ha if it like boop, 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 like goes off like you gotta get whoever this is to the hospital? Well, that's why he it's, they gave well, no, this. So let's try you. Let's try you one on more time. Let's see what your latest the, is. Uh, they oh, have like right. the, oh, bar. the danger zone. Yeah, yeah. So last night I was in the third red. Yo, oh, no. Like, yeah. For what? Yeah. What's going on in your life? Oh God! So I mean, severe depression, <laughs> uh, alcoholism, the stalker. You know, it's a stalker. You got a stalker? Yeah. Boy or girl? It's a girl, right? Don't know. It is text. We keep laughing about it. It's getting to the point. It's bad. Why don't you guys just change your fucking number? Why don't you change your number? Just be done with it. I don't. I don't want to lose my numbers. You got it. You don't. You don't yeah. lose no, no, your no, numbers. No. You can update it. When's the last time yeah, you changed you your phone? Yeah, you can roll your fucking phone in. I've literally never. Oh, my phone. I've never. I, you my can phone keep has your contacts, bro. Yeah, yeah, but then I have to text him like, hey, it's Vitalberg. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to have that conversation. You, you should love this. What is that? Out. 
Out. You're dead. <laughs> wow. You're dead. It just says out. Out. I, I, wish, I wish you said just said fuck. <laughs> out. You're fucked. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. On your way out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah like, <laughs> you better start saying your prayers, brother. Bro, you should love oh, it's one text. the idea. You just get a new number. You just text everybody. And you just go, here's my number. You, and you do the Burt Kreischer. We were just talking about him yesterday. Send a fucking goofy picture of your, your, your number with your dick out. Yeah. But you should love this because you're going to weed out people you don't want to talk to. That's true. You text like the ten people yeah, yeah, in your yeah. life that matter, yeah. and then that's it. You go through all your contacts, like include, 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 and then you're like, um, you're out. Let them find me. Yeah, yeah. right, right. <laughs> they'll they'll find you eventually if they need you, or you get like that text, like, hey man, you're looking at the area code, you're like trying to piece it together, like, all right, why would you be saying this to uh -huh. me? One forty over. I 99. love that. Where you want to say like one forty over what? Ninety nine. One forty over nine. That's higher on the on the side and lower on the one side. Yeah, it's, so it, it's not good. It's, if, you're, if you're over the, if you're almost at a hundred on the bottom stage number, stage two, right stage now, you're two. In stage two, stage two hypertension. But like yeah. he's just sitting here. Stage, you know? stage three is like a heart attack. Like if you were looking at him, you wouldn't be like, bro, <laughs> that guy successful, has dude. What, what, issues. Yeah, what do you have yeah. to worry about? Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? You're successful. Ari says it. You worked in an office. <laughs> um, <laughs> all the I bet you, you change your number, lines. your blood pressure would go down like a hundred points on either side. I would, I would probably venture to guess you're right. On that. Just do it. Just be done with Yo, if you stalk people, you're a bigger loser than people who work out. You're a, <laughs> yeah. you're a real fucking loser if you stalk I people. I mean, it gets you moving throughout the day. If you're just looking for an excuse to <laughs> get going. Exercise or, like, or stalking? Stalking. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I'll pick Feidelberg's like, life, and I'll just kind of like choose that, and I'll walk around. <laughs> just get you to dude, see the city. He's dude. inside. I know he's filming, so I'll... I'll take this hour to go to my cell, get some coffee. <laughs> some, sometimes I'll, I'll fucking like, like I'm in a movie where I'll like, I'll like take the subway for a bit and then I'll jump off. And I'll take the cab for a bit back on the subway. Jesus try to lose a tail. No, no fucking wonder your blood pressure's through the roof. Yeah. It's like you're a fucking CIA I'll, I'll operative. I'll take a cab and I'll get out of the cab and I'll get, I'll get a lift to pick me up there. <laughs> I'm just change always, cars. It's, just, it's, oh. it's definitely over the top and unnecessary, but I'm just trying to be safe. That is that absolutely sounds safe. No. Who is the stalker? What did they do to you? Don't know. Don't what do they, do? they just send, they just send like a uh, threatening text. And Threat stuff like oh, threatening text. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what kind of but like what pictures of the apartment and stuff? Like yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Of your apartment? Yeah. yeah. Like, I've, like, I've, like the cops are, have been involved in this. Yeah. It sucks. And it's wow. been going on for a while. How long? Uh, Pictures of the inside months? of your apartment? Not like it's like just like right outside my apartment. Right, right, right. Um, it's been going on for a couple months. It started during the Bruins Islander series. And if you change so the basically number, it all just ends. So are you trying to tie it back to that? Like it could be related to Bruins Islanders. Um, it could be. I, I, I would it's be, not related to Are you, are you a Bruins be, fan, I assume? I am a Bruins fan, yeah. yeah. I, I would be pretty surprised if it's connected to that one. Maybe an Islanders. <laughs> they just couldn't, couldn't get off it. Maybe it's Frankie. Maybe it's Frankie just mad about that series. That's tough. You live here. You fuck a lot? You think that's <laughs> you fuck? No. I, I fuck a good amount. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's my girlfriend. But. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> if she was talking to you, that would be a fucking disappointment. Uh, actually, that would kind of be some crazy shit. Yeah, if your girlfriend started stalking uh -huh. you. Imagine you figure it out, you track it back, and all of a sudden, like, you find it. You're like, all right, if we press, like, this number, we're going to find it. You dial it, and all of a sudden, her phone rings. Uh, that would be great. What? You ever hear the story of, like, uh, a guy and a, girl, a couple go, go into, like, uh, like an agent and his girlfriend, they get invited to like a football player's like party. So they uh -huh. go in there and the girl immediately, her phone connects to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, How'd you get the what? <laughs> it's great. That's just, the new I, black baby. I'm so <laughs> I just ate this cream pie. <laughs> yeah, you did. You ever Helps think? with hypertension. You ever think uh, they would think about changing their name? Oatmeal cream pie? Yeah. Like, I wonder like, if those or people you think it's even like, know. No, they, yeah, they probably don't even know, right? Yeah, oh, they fucking know. They gotta Little Debbie know, knows. right? At Little least like, maybe the people, the people who like run their, their fucking social media for sure yeah. know. But Somebody you who think, works like, there knows. Do you think, <laughs> so, at least one person. Do you think like Debbie knows? Do you think like Deborah yes, knows? Deborah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how can you not know what a cream pie is at this point? But I, I imagine but they're, they're probably so like Because like, uh, you work like, in that world. It's, it's not like you've been in a, a, a cabin and somebody gave you a cream pie. Like, oh, your whole life is cream, cream pies. pies <laughs> yeah. Anything related to cream pies, people are like, oh, you might be interested in this. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like Michael Bolton from Office Space. That's exactly what I was going to say. Why, why the fuck do I have to change it? I was first. <laughs> <laughs> why did you guys have to pick? You, they, they must have been furious when... Like that caught on where it was just like, well, all the porn stars decided to say that come in their pussy is a cream pie. And the horse <laughs> is out of the, the barn on this yeah. one. Not yeah, just the, the asshole, too. Uh, I'd like to up it a little bit and somehow maybe we can do like a 
crossover uh, sponsorship. I know you guys get sponsors. Yeah. If we can get somehow with porn and little Debbie's, you know how you like come on a cookie and then somebody's gonna yeah, eat the, the cookie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but shove a cookie up a pussy. Then come in the vagina, oh, and then, and the then bring it out and eat it. I don't See, know. This is why you don't have sponsors. Yeah. This is <laughs> why <laughs> you don't have sponsors. <laughs> I definitely lose a lot. For McKee Foods, listen, guys. <laughs> just think it over. It's fucking good, by the way, though. They're They're very good. The oatmeal Tennessee. cookie does not get enough respect, oh, I feel. It's the number one cookie. You, I, mean, I don't know about number one. It's but better it's, than chocolate chip. It's not better than chocolate chip. Yeah. Clearly better well, than chocolate. O- no, no, oatmeal no, no, chocolate no. chip is chocolate the, chip the is derivative. Yeah. It's boring. No, it, it, no. It's everything that's no, wrong no, with no. America. You're trying It's just remembering the old days for no reason. No, Choc- no it's not. Good chocolate chips. Updated to fucking no, peanut butter not. chocolate chips. No. Or milk chocolate chips. No. They're bad. They're bad. No, it's not. It's it's a it's it's good old number one fastball down the fucking pipe. It's not bad. It's not good. It's good. A good cookie. You need to get brand new fresh to make it passable. Otherwise, just like whatever. No, that's like. Like, you know, that's like oatmeal uh, raisin. It's way better. It's clearly better. Snickerdoodles is better. Sugar cookies better. No, Snickerdoodles is definitely not better. A good sugar cookie is wildly underrated. None of these things are better than you chocolate. You know what's chip. overrated? Chocolate chip. No. <laughs> They're chocolate rated chip as the is properly thing rated. In the world. No way. Overrated. It can still be good. I'll give you it's good. I'll back off my earlier statement. Okay. <laughs> you better. Like, just keep some integrity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll back off now. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong, and, but and, it is overrated. And you're saying oatmeal number one. Number one cookie. It's very good. I use oatmeal uh, raisin. I, I've, Sometimes yeah. you get an oatmeal cookie, and it's like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Why would you skimp on raisins, the cheapest of all the bonus ingredients? I, I think uh, sugar cookie gets no love. Sugar cookie gets I no love. I uh, think, but yeah, to me, that's like all, uh, you know, I don't need all those. You ever get a hard. Peanut butter that and like all these extra oh, yeah. things. Those Italian cookies, the guineas eat with all the colors. I they're, don't want that. They're trash. Oh, that's, those they're are trash. disgusting. And, and any Italian dessert is garbage. Those, yeah, those, they those are. like fine garbage assorted people. cookies. <laughs> they are. Like, they're yeah, they're yeah, the worst yeah. of the whites. No one, no one <laughs> is willing to say that. They're the worst of the whites. Uh, Albanians are close second, but still second. <laughs> Italians are the worst. Their cookies are awful, and it shows how little they care. They're so addicted to their fucking old way of life, they can't realize it's just drying out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Those cookies that do come in grandpa like did a, it back consistently. Yeah. Oh the God. ones that are just like <laughs> crumbly with like white powder on it. I'm like, what? I feel like I'm eating chalk. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they always call them like fine cookies or like assortment mm-hmm. of of ex, of uh, like, like high society cookies. I'm like, these are all dry, crunchy, gross. Trash there's like cook. there's like weird fruit type of thing in it. It's like a raspberry in the middle? or something. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. What a is raspberry. That? <laughs> what is that garbage? Who says raspberry some... like that? Raspberry. <laughs> yeah. uh, just some say? chocolate. I don't know. I, I don't think I've said I don't think I've said raspberry uh like ever in my life because they're so fucking garbage <laughs> you would put them in there. So I just found out raspberry it is. <laughs> I mean raspberries are good. Raspberries are not good. Raspberries are so raspberries good. I mean they're just like the, 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 the raspberry is just not a blueberry. That's what that is. Yeah, you'll get it's a like raspberry. We're not a straw. We're not a blue. We're a raz. If you pass a raspberry in a supermarket, you might get one, but no one's going to make a special trip for a raspberry. Yeah, no one's yeah, going like, I need fair. raspberries. Yeah, we'll maybe I'll grab one on the side. But yeah, the Italians, man, they're just. But what about like? Do you like Italian food? Forget about the desserts. Like yeah, pasta. Yeah, and, like, I mean they do that pretty well. They do that. Got to give good. them that. Yeah, they do that pretty good. <laughs> and pizza though, but they didn't even know what they had with pizza. Yeah, we 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 had to like perfect that. We had to that, make right? it good. Yeah, yeah, they always claim pizza, but I'm like, you know, you guys are too dumb to even know it's a fucking <laughs> great uh, food item. How did they morons, make immigrants, it? and morons. What? <laughs> How did they like? They, they didn't have like their pizza is not that like orange. No, back then they used the sweat of their fucking manual labor to, uh, as the sauce. <laughs> How about when they make sauce on Sundays and they just fucking get out those cauldrons yeah. and they have the whole family like churning up tomatoes? Like, the activity is the making of the sauce. Like, Dude, did you ever have like friends in college who were Italians and they'd be like, I have to go home on Sunday nights yeah, have family dinners. Oh, Sunday like, sauce dinners. What are you dinners? talking about? You're going, you're going home? Out in the, the garage in the driveway making your sauce. Like, it's some <laughs> sort of... And guess what? At you're the driving end, it's just mashed three up. hours over. It's, had, it's fucking mashed up tomatoes, and like your grandma comes in with like a sprinkle of salt, pepper, and basil. And it's like <laughs> the magic fucking recipe. Yeah. Like just give me the ragu, you fucking assholes. Dude, I, I was like like well into my twenties, and kids would still be like, "Yeah, I got to split from the beach on Sunday. Got to get home." What? That's like, nuts. Back to mom dinner. and dad, like, mom and pops. No, no, with Nana, <laughs> Nina, and Pinto. It's like, you have your own apartment. Here? You have a fucking. You're married with a kid, dude. Yeah, you have a life. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear the thing that Italian moms won't, when they have a daughter-in-law, they won't give the daughter-in-law the full recipe 
for the, for the <laughs> pasta sauce. Uh-huh. They give like one ingredient off so that the husband has to be like, has my mom's to come back the to best. my mom. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the yep. kind of trash way. I don't know. My mom just, that's, that's my mom just does something different. She's exactly. a little bit better. Uh, that's the love or something yeah. like that. It's like, no, the love. Hateful. No. It's that she didn't tell you to put the fucking yeah. paprika in or whatever. It's the opposite of love. You're, you're being rude to someone uh, who married your you're son. Not, you're not accepting me into your family, yeah. you bitch. Yeah, you're being standoffish and rude for no reason. <laughs> I'm trying to cook for your son. Don't you want him to eat well? You don't? You're just so worried about status in the family. <laughs> the matriarch must be kept. Yeah. yeah, who goes home for fucking family meals after you're an adult? Once a year, <laughs> twice a year, I get it. But Yeah, I'll go home for Thanksgiving. Yeah. that's the, I'll go home for a holiday meal, but yeah. I've never gone home for a meal. And I'm not sitting with my gay brother this time. <laughs> 200 rich tents the whole time. Whether he's gonna my blood pressure through the fucking roof. <laughs> Imagine how your blood pressure would be if you spend more time with your family. Jesus <laughs> Christ almighty. That's uh, crazy. You got a stalker, dude. Yeah. So they've been in your building. It's also crazy that it's like you. Like, you're the yeah. last person. Like, you, what's to stalk? You know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Derek Jeter lives here, right? It's like, yeah, it's like there's other you people know? you can get. Way more interesting go, people than I me. Like, I stop at a bar on the way home, and I go home, and I watch Netflix for the rest of the night. And I wake up, and I come to work. And I stop at a bar on the way home, and I go home and watch Netflix the rest of the night. There's not much to stalk. You know what I'm going to do? The I'm going to I'm gonna tweet out your phone number, and you just have to change <laughs> you don't it. Have to. I'm going to force you to change your number. <laughs> and it just all goes away. This, this horrific problem just goes away. Yeah, you and you're like, you. nah, I don't want to do it, which is very on brand for you. <laughs> just like, nah, it's a whole thing. So I'm just going to I'm gonna keep going through this whole thing because the solution seems like a whole thing. Yeah, yeah that's, basically. That's the, that's the behavior of a man with hypertension 3. <laughs> I've had to change my number a couple of times. You just get random people. People texting you or, or calling you, yeah, and just be like, hey, is this really harsh fear? <laughs> yeah, like, we were just talking about that with uh, Bert, that dog fucker. Yeah, he was just talking about how like the people will be like, "Is it you?" And you're like, "Yeah." And Who's they're like, what, "What? So what? What's up?" And it's like, "What?" You got to change the number. And for th- I don't know how Bert gets it. No, I know he probably he gives it to a lot of radio guys and stuff. And then they're like, yeah, Bert's "He seems like he probably plays it fast and loose with his number." <laughs> fast and loose. But I, I also feel like you. If if you're in a position where someone like asks for your number or they say like can I give your number to this guy, I feel like if you say no, you seem like a douchebag. Yeah, like, like you got to be on a certain number? level. I think you ignore it. I think that's the answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because if you say no, no, I don't want that guy with my number. You have to really be on the record. I think you got to be fucking like famous or rich or really important. Like if I told you that you can't give my number to someone, I think it'd be like, really, dude. I I, I no would, one can have your. I contacts. mean, I would I would never ask you that, but like. I, I think it's fair. I, I've said no to people before. Yeah. No, like, you can't give them like, my number. Yeah, like family members asking, like, like their friend's cousin or yeah. like yeah, their friend's nephew they want wants some to advice. Get into, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, look, man, well, I, I don't have any advice. You know what I do? Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I do in that situation is I say, uh, I'll be like, oh, you know what? The uh, email's better. I, I respond. Oh, email's yeah, yeah. Better. I'll I'll email. Email. I definitely something. don't look at email anymore. So I'm yeah. done with email. You are? Email is overrated. I'm over it. I'm done. I haven't looked at my email in. I mean, that's I, I, like I look at it because it's like, oh, what's like my ad for th- today's show? Let me just check. But like, I haven't sent or corresponded. Really? What do you do? Just text? Just text. Damn. And then I don't like do that Nick, Nick kind of like both. runs my my email for me. He'll like look at shit for me. It is great to just be like, ugh, there's so much here. I don't. It's got it's overused. <laughs> that's what I mean. And you're like, it's mostly well, and, like and spam. There's so and so like, much. That's the thing. Like back when it was just kind of like. It was almost like getting a letter. It was like you know, if you uh-huh. get a letter, it's like, oh, this is gonna be something important. And I mean, when I when I worked like a desk job and I sat in front of my computer all day, it's one thing. And I'm talking to friends or emailing funny shit around, whatever. Now it's just like you know, no, nope, yeah, don't you nope. just want to get off? Just mm-hmm. want to be off all of it and be like, I don't know, run into me. God, if you want God. To do something. I can't wait for the day. You're you're pretty good about that. You'll disappear for like yeah, months I love on end, right? Yeah, it's the best. And then people are like, I try to reach you. I'm like, yeah, yeah I know. That's me. the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like fucking Where Bruce you Wayne too. Like, do you leave the city or you just? Go oh, he to goes. He goes to the Amazon. Countries. Yeah, two different things. I was just. How long Amazon. were you in the Amazon for? It was just Ecuador. Amazon's like a third of it, so I was there for just probably like a month and a half or so, and over he, six months. And he goes and like lives in the fucking like woods. Yeah, like dude, I fuck it. Or just like foreign countries. Go stay in hostels and fucking have a good time. But that's time. the thing. You don't ever like go to like, you, you won't just go to like a hotel or like live somewhere. You're, you're no, I like, will, but like, no. You kind of really. live I, it up like the yeah, locals, I like right? Yeah, I like getting dirty. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much more fun that way. And then you meet cool people yeah. and like, listen, if you're at a hotel, you've never met a chick in the, in the, at the breakfast, the free breakfast of the hotel and fucked her in a shower that night. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's like not a hotel life. So, <laughs> sounds like a very specific <laughs> hostel reference. <laughs> my, shout out. 
is nobody can fuck in a dorm except Germans. They don't give a shit. They'll fuck on a bunk bed right on top of you. And you haven't gotten laid in a month, and this guy's fucking giving to this fucking American chick who's having the time of her life. She's like, I'm living. Fuck <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, shut up. Go to the showers. <laughs> Go to the showers. Yikes. <laughs> Hear that in Germany, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, you're, you're supposed to fuck quiet when you're doing shit like that. You guys have fucked with people around. You just It's this. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's truly humping. When you do that, it's yeah, truly humping. humping. Exactly. Maybe I humped her. Side, you know? Uh, uh. But this guy is full on. Come on. Don't twerk. You can't use twerk when you're fucking above someone. The, the best is when you're doing that, the, the quiet humping, yeah. and you think you're getting away with it. And then someone was like, I know what you're doing. In some ways, it's almost worse because you're like, yeah. Yeah. like, like oh, dude, just, yeah. just be done with it. Yeah, yeah like I'd rather you be loud and fast. Yeah. And maybe that's what they're doing. I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> or you tried the whole way, you're quiet, and then right then you're like, mm. <laughs> uh, when you disappear like that, do you, uh, do you have like agents and managers and shit who are like, well, like, no, I tell them you? I'm like I'm gonna you're go. Going, you're going. So yeah. like I try to take care of my business. Somebody's like relying on me. Yeah. You know, like if you just didn't show up one day, everybody else would be like, what, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, but like, yeah. like guys, in, in I don't know, whatever. A date ahead, of October first, I'm gonna be gone. I'm gone. Yeah. So we're not gonna have shows. Get yeah, ready, man. You you did a good job. We we talk a lot about like living that life of like you know the life you're living where it's just like I don't know if I, I want to pick up and live in the fucking Bahamas for a month I'm gonna do it well I mean look what we do you could you could do I mean you well, tried, had I to can. do it during COVID why because you have a kid Kids and fucked shit. up <laughs> you lost yeah. loser <laughs> wrong decision <laughs> totally wrong <laughs> totally wrong left it in and then didn't do the groundwork afterwards to convince her <laughs> to do the right thing <laughs> I get it. You left it in. It happens. But then you got to go to work with mental, just beating them down. Tell them how it fucking fucks up your mind, your body, and just really get in there. You have three months, six in some states to get it done. And you didn't do it. And now you're living the fucking repercussions. You can, always, you can still run. You can still run. You can't do the show anymore, but you can run. I'm not totally start out of life. options. Yeah, I start a new got life. Choice. Bank some money. <laughs> borrow some cash and go live in yeah. Cambodia. <laughs> be, 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 just start be. taking out, like, you can start a new bank account and just start taking out, like, <laughs> little bits here and there. 500 bucks a month. Yeah. Just put it in that yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> when shift you're gone. It, shift it to a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what's the new, what's, like, the modern uh, went out for milk and didn't come home? Oh, yeah. What is it? It's like, like, ghosting. Yeah, just yeah. Can you ghost a family. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my my dad text. ghosted me when I was three. <laughs> it shows he read my text. Why won't he reply? <laughs> my dad left me on red for thirty years straight. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I actually, I, I don't regret having kids, but I regret what I did prior to having kids. I, I, sh I definitely should have done it later. That I know, but I also like I should have lived that life of like you want to just pick up and go fuck it let's do it you know? oh right 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 like yeah. i just did such a normal life of just like yeah here's where i work and then i go to bars and i hang out we do you know I'd go on dates yeah. and go to work and this, you know same shit he was describing and now one of the things that motivates me to do fun stuff is honestly is is like not spitefully but like uh to like make my married, Your married kids want to uh, people want to kill themselves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah 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 to some degree it's like what are you doing with your singleness yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, let me show you. I'm not just playing Xbox all day. Yes. <laughs> right. That's really the thing. It's like, and, and I really, uh, the one thing I wish about life is if you could, like, if you could know you don't know what you got till it's gone or, like, cherish what you have in the moment. Because you never, you're, you know, when you're young, you're like, I don't have enough time to do that. And it's like, bro, you have yeah. all the time in the fucking world. That's the thing, too. But everybody, I mean, if, especially working freelance-ish type stuff or, or you work, like, remotely. Like, right now, it's like. You could get a flight tomorrow mm -hmm. to a place. Just look at a few places, look mm -hmm. at the weather, mm -hmm. and then narrow it down based on that and just go for and a week. Also, you can just get away with so much more now. Like, shout out to COVID. I know it's been pretty bad. <laughs> but also, just after, the, like, the aftermath is, is people <laughs> like, everyone's just like, ah, I go to work at like 11 now. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. and it's just because <laughs> they just decided to. Like, I was talking to my buddy last night. I was catching up for the first time in a while on the phone. He was like, So you going to work five days a week now? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, me too, man. Like, what is this about? And, he, and like, all of a sudden, like, five days a week becomes, like, optional in a way. You yeah. Know what I mean? oh, he's like, I think I'm, I'm going to work five he's days like, He's like, I think I'm going to cut it down. Like, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to work, like, three or four. You got to yeah. interview people. It's, like, a little different, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, here, we're but... Definitely different. But, like, even even the corporate jobs, I feel like it's like, I think yeah, I'll do, like, three days a week in the office, too, at home. Like, I think they're all revisiting it now. They're yeah. like, what, what's 40 hours? What's that based on? Yeah, why like, We can why get that? stuff done on the internet, yeah. on email. Why do we have to come in? Mm -hmm. And why, do, yeah, why is 40 hours? We're not, like, sh like, 
twisting a lug nut. <laughs> you know, at some point, you're like, I don't know, 25 hours-ish. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and it really is just like if everybody at once decides to do it, it's just like a big union thing where the, your bosses and shit are like, well, I don't know, fuck it. Yeah. I yeah. can't make everybody. Like, yeah, you would you need know. to do that. You would need to have everyone be like, let's all, all on the same page. Yeah, but I think, I think we did it. fucking tool going yeah. like, I'll I work th- 40 hours. <laughs> I'm yeah, have. right. You're the curve wrecker uh-huh. ruins it. I, th- I think the American workers as a whole did it. Really. Yeah, so. like, it took COVID, we, but we I, was like, the... we definitely do summer Fridays now. That's mm-hmm. like no one comes to work on Friday. Summer mm-hmm. Fridays is the best. But I've I, noticed, man. Mondays too. When I drive in, there's no traffic. Really? I think I think New York City at least the collective has just decided we don't go to work on Mondays because I fucking fly in and out. August or always the whole like everything. Wow, it's been weird. Because, like, the traffic has been fucking a disaster once things resumed. Because yeah. everybody started driving and then nobody went back to the train. So it's, like, double the cars. But then Mondays, oh, yeah. it's, like, zipping through. So everyone just said, fuck Mondays, which I respect. Yeah. I wonder what else. What Monday else decisions gonna... Everyone's for... just stealing my move. For what? The Monday's off, kid. Monday's off. Monday's off. I didn't go to, my, I didn't go to school Monday uh, 18 Mondays in a row when I was in second grade. <laughs> they, they called the police on my parents. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's one just, of the I more bizarre like, stories because you were like, in second grade. What do you mean? You just claimed sick? I was just like, I, 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 just I, I claimed sick the first two times. And then my mom was like, she has three other kids. She's like, I'm just not dealing with it. Fine, do whatever you want. And so, for like, yeah. <laughs> mail time. <laughs> it was like, she like, she just stopped even waking she, me up. She, would like, she like, doesn't go to school on Monday. Would she drive you there and be like, get out of the car? And you just be like, no? No, like, I literally never once, like, got in the car. I, I she didn't care. She wouldn't just, like, drag she, you or pull wait, you by the ears. Did you say she had three other kids? That's not so much. It's not that many. I thought, you were, I thought it, it read in my mind as, like, nines. I'm like, oh, yeah, you must lose track. No, no, no. It's a big family, but it's a relatively normal family. I was the oldest, so it was three younger kids that she had to kind of, like, Make sure. Get she, really she, get ready. Yeah, let's be real. She punted on you. Yeah. She yeah. was like, I fucked this one up, clearly. I mean, if she looked into your future, <laughs> she had to realize you don't need school for you. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be dead with high blood pressure when he's 32. She was, so she was a it. big mental health lady. She's like, you need a mental health day? Fine, I'm not going to school today. And I just always needed them on Monday. And look and how that worked out. Your mental get. health is spotless. <laughs> Dude, Beautiful that's, record. that's what they're saying now is like mental health is like you, it's sick leave and not like vacation yeah. leave. Mm-hmm. But like how do you convince your – your foreman or your boss they're like yeah i'm taking a mental health day today mm-hmm. but they're not going no, no <laughs> yeah. it's a vacation day. that's a fucking are you at the beach like, yes for my mental health yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah how do you tell them that i, I, don't, I, I don't know anyone who's been able to do that like, like that, that to me to that needs the doctors to, that, know like he i'm, I'm issuing him uh prescribing him a day at the beach unless you snap then you can take a bunch of mental <laughs> but, health but, but then i feel like it's it's like yeah it's you better prove it you better come in here with a fucking gun and then i'll let you leave but if you tell me you need a mental Quote health day yeah. I, I i think you need to be like like show me proof that you're like at a therapist's office that day because no you just but i know i know that going no, to the beach is what like relaxes you and shit but then it's like but then i just feel like you're fucking pulling one over on yeah me. exactly so like, how i you need get to see done? you at like a church or like a uh, fucking i don't know somewhere that's like you're getting your mind right because otherwise i think you're just fucking partying i think a lot, as long as you're in therapy you can do no that, no right? because you're just like hey it's getting too much i just want to like walk around all day yeah, get high, yeah. Like, see i a mean movie. I, yeah you're, you're right Chill out it's like I, like I just want to have a fun day yeah. Yeah. that's what it really comes down to and then the boss is like yes on a weekend that's what we, <laughs> we built in two days for those yes. yeah <laughs> that's really what they should do is they should have just done four and three instead of five and two the difference between four and, four and three. three four and three is almost 50 50. Yeah. five and two is a whole thing you know and if every if every weekend was a three day weekend, it would be it's not like with Spain. You could really do stuff, and then you could. Oh, sh- Spain just didn't work at all. Yeah, they're just, Spain, Spain. how does that happen? Like, how does Spain continue to function though? Like, they're a pretty pretty good country, yeah. right? It's not like they're fucking scrubs. I think so. They're up there in the European Union. They had some yeah, the European Union threatened to kick them out. Did they? They're Did like, they? Fucking no. lazy they bums. Greece? You're worse <laughs> than the Italian Spain. You don't even work. <laughs> well, no, it was when I when I was there. I went I went there when I was in high school and. Uh, I mean, it was like my first time ever experiencing siestas, and like they're real, real. Yeah. They're like the whole fucking place shuts down. You can't wow. write. The, you can't write a movie from like noon to four p.m. Crazy. And the European Union was like, Do they look, look, guys, you gotta work with us. Like, yeah, I we mean, can't. Yeah, we can't reach any of you during the uh, most of the day at any right. time. <laughs> they legit na- nap or are they just like chill? It's, it's so to me, hot it's there, crazy like Madrid and stuff. It's so hot and pre AC. They're like we can't we can't work can't from like yeah. two to four. We have to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> is it really that hot? I, yeah, I like, think so. Like what are the? What? I don't know. In the summertime, is it on like the equator? No. Why is it so hot? 
because of wind patterns? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's that hot. hot. I think you made that up. No, it, 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 it's, it's Portugal's obviously right there. Is it like 90? And but Portugal's like, it, yeah. it's hot. It's not going to be. It's hot. Unless it's like 120. It's, it's not like For you to say I can't hot. go to work because it's too hot, that's that's some lazy shit. Good point. Shit, Good point. <laughs> it's hot a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Why is it Spain siesta? Not like, there's no Kenyan siestas. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, there's way worse, yeah, way hotter places. They work through it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the days you want to use a siesta, they're the best thing in the world. When you're like, oh, yeah, I can sure. But the days you don't, I don't even know. Fucking hell, because there's nothing to do. I, if I, how long is it? I think it's like three hours. That's a bit much. Wow. If I could get, I like, think you got to work till seven or eight. Then again, that's why then they do dinner at ten. Right. I'm out on that whole fucking thing. Man. <laughs> Not on that whole thing. I was just talking to a guy here. He's going to a birthday party that starts at eleven. I'm like, brother, I will be out like a light at 11 o'clock. Tonight? Uh, no, I think he said it's this weekend, but still. So 11 like, o'clock, like, at a club. It's funny. If somebody says they want to have, like, a, a kid's birthday at 11 a.m., I'm also like, no way. No way, yeah. 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 <laughs> what are you, crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised of... you wanted this. Like, I'm I, I, I'm more like you, Ari. And I was like, Ari wants to give you at 11? Later, Jesus. Yeah. All well, right. I was supposed to give a... Uh, a couch to DeRosa today so who said like I need your back by like one but what? Joe DeRosa tomorrow. is getting your hand-me-down couches yeah I took it for somebody else so it's pretty gross and I think why it, does I Joe want this couch I don't, I don't know Joe is he's not hurting that bad he makes a sauce too and then when you start literally done a, he's a, he works all day on it and I've literally done a taste test where I've shown people that and Prego and mixed them up and, and they don't know can't tell the difference I'm, that's why I said give me the fucking ragu I know that there can't be that big of a difference and they act like you're you know <gasps> Oh, I, I, had a, I, I had from a, a jar. I yeah. could never. It's like it's literally just smashed tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, and I sprinkled some pe paprika in. What, yeah. Why is Joe DeRosa getting hand me down uh, couches? He's opening up a, a bar, a bar and a whatever. So he needs a couch for upstairs. So oh, that's like, right. I heard him talking to Chris about this, and he's like, <laughs> he was admitting it's just the worst idea ever. <laughs> like, let's open up a brick and mortar spot right now. That's a great <laughs> idea. The best we were all hanging out in Sal Volcano was a. Uh, he used to run a bar and own a bar a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And Joe was talking about like opening a bar and Sal just goes, don't fuck it. <sighs> he's like, what? He's like, I just take me back to do so much stress and so much work. And then Joe's like, but it'll be okay for me, right? He goes, yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying it's way too much stress and work. You're going to be there all the time. I mean, isn't it like they say like 65% of all bars and restaurants fail, fail. or something? You're signing up year. for yeah. absolute like destruction and misery. Yeah. And, and it's like, no, mine will be different. Why? It's a dream. I felt bad about those people in COVID that closed their business. Like, damn, Ugh. that was your dream. But a lot of people don't understand. It's New York, dude. You're gonna fail anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was in here before COVID. Nobody came in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know when there's like two Chinese places next to each other and one's packed and the other's not. Yeah. When that one failed because of COVID, you're like, yeah, yeah, no, love okay. to blame it on that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I, uh, we talked to uh, John Taffer from Bar Rescue when when this shit first started to pop off, and you know he's like. Tens of millions, tens of millions. He's so rich, you know. Yeah. And he was just like, "Yeah, I'll probably like swoop in and buy all of these places for like pennies on the dollar." And they have, you know, the kitchens and the industrial shit set all up. set up. And all wow. Just, you know, and I mean, he said it in, in a nicer tone than that, but that's basically what he was saying. Yeah. And it's just He's like, like Fuck yeah, these peasants. <laughs> yeah, all that mom and pop shit. You're fucking gone, man. Damn. <laughs> but it makes sense. Like, why would you not? Yeah. Well, I He's guess. just gonna be the king of New York. Yeah. King of all these cities. Yeah. I, mean, I I think I feel like he kind of almost like. Guy Fieri's it. Where like he he covers the middle America. Yeah, that's true. Like I, I don't like think high yeah. end New York. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. think he's really coming to New York too mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. I think he's like I'll just I'll go to Toledo. I, but what I don't get like, there was a bar on the Upper East Side, Rathbones, that like was around for I think it was like 1971. So okay. it made it through a lot through the construction on Second Avenue, all sorts of different you know, and great wings, great burgers, neighborhood spot. Love everybody loved it, and that one went down. And then, like, this piece of shit bar around the corner from here that I go to with a couple of buddies because it's a bad bar. We picked a bad bar oh, yeah. that, that was, like, pre-COVID. was like, we'll go because no one else is ever here. And that's still up how and do running. They, how yeah. do they stay open? It's got to be, like, a front. It's got to be drugs. got to be something illegal. Maybe, hopefully. Money laundering, <laughs> right? If you want to believe in the best. <laughs> right. That's like these, like, I just got in the NFT game. I got a picture of a koala that I now own. Wait, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, mean, you got to look at it. I get it. It. There might be some money in it, but like you got to look at it as like this is retarded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not, I'm buying a mm -hmm. not thing. Yes, <laughs> yes, but no, again, no stupider than like if I bought a baseball card. A bit stupider though. A, a <laughs> little bit, but not really. Because you have it's like, a baseball look, this card. This is my like my piece of cardboard. Do you even get visitation rights on the art you're buying? 
This is my fucking koala, bro. I own this shit. That's mine now. Not yours. And if mine. you send it, if you forward me that, then yeah. I don't own it? You, you, there, there's almost like, you know, when you have like a sec, uh, certificate of authenticity, if yeah. you, like, there's like a digital version of that. Okay. So you might have this picture. I could send you this screenshot, but you don't have my fucking little code thingy. You Just, peasant. Right. How much was it? Uh, I got it sent to me for free, but it's probably about 300 bucks. It's an artist. Some well-known artist. Maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> probably these, these, these fucking guys who, you know, took 25 seconds on a We're digital. We're doomed digital, as a society. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. But like, this the is the bubble, money laundering The bottle on king. NFTs and, and Bitcoin shit, it's just going to like, at some point, everyone's going to be like, oh, this is nothing. But don't you think it's it's no stupider than like paying $50 million for that blue canvas at the fucking, you know, museum? It's, it's a bit stupider because you own the canvas. You can be like, I can hang this up. I can burn it if I want. <laughs> it's mine. I can be like, no, take it away from the museum. It's mine now. <laughs> but but but, but, it's, but also it's not way stupid. But it's definitely somewhat. Yeah, stupid. it's like you can have replicas of paintings and you can have replicas of these. But there's an original one and it's just digital. You're just stuck no, in digital, the old age. The you sat here and made thing. fun of the fucking guineas, saying they're stuck in their old way, and you're stuck in the old life. Okay, I'm trying to understand it. Fair enough. But like the original. You can make a copy, like I can take a Xerox or like a picture of the of the Mona Lisa, but uh -huh. the Mona Lisa's there. This, you're getting the exact same but thing. But this the thing has- The digital copy has the same value. But it's, like there's this little, you know, little thing attached to it that's like, no, 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 this is this one is of yours. one. All right, congrats. Mm -hmm. So I own a koala now, yeah. so- uh, Are you gonna just keep that forever? Or well, are you gonna I'm gonna keep it until the price goes up. I'm gonna okay. sell that shit. Is it is it stupider or a bit less stupid? Than the like stars I own, or the trees in the Amazon mm. forest that I own, or the little patch of the moon. Oh, like you get a. Oh yeah, that's also quite stupid. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> yeah, you can't resell those. So like, yeah, yeah. I think probably those. No, are that was those a scam. The like, there's no way that like. Dude, they, I also own a, a manatee that. in Florida. <laughs> you own a manatee in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I would love to get a call one day, like, I'm. There's been a vicious whale attack. I'm <laughs> so sorry to tell you this. My brother owned a uh, an Indian kid. Um, <laughs> his name was Om Prasad, and he he paid a lot. I think he paid, like, you know, usually those things are like, for like a dollar a month, you can blah, blah, blah. Yeah, can his you NFT? Like, can you NFT can you a NFT slave? <laughs> Don't call it slavery. Just be like, no, I own a person in a weird way. And then you start making them do stuff for it. And then, yeah, it's a slippery but li slope. Listen to this. <laughs> he, 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 he owned this kid for like 15 years. And he would get pictures and what? letters and updates and shit. And then one day, they, he got like a letter from the foundation. And they just like swapped in a new kid. And they were like, yeah, Om Prasad's gone. No like mention of what happened to him. No, they were like, just like, now. Now here's like Steve. Now you own Steve. Wow. He was like, wait, what happened to Ohm? And it was like he couldn't ever get an answer. Probably because Ohm, I always tell him, is like, you know, like a 30-year-old who lives in, he's like a Puerto Rican kid who yeah, lives in the like, Bronx. Done. And I like, gotta make my own living now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You didn't actually buy a kid from India. Uh, <laughs> but but no no word. It was like, pfft, swapped out, you know, one Indian for another. That'd like, be a good scam right. too. And you guys have the bandwidth for this at uh, Barstool. Okay. Fake backgrounds of like impoverished areas, and then get some fucking local kids in here, get them all dirty, <laughs> fucking rain in the money, give them half, you know. Keep oh, the like other half. our our fans will will buy fan, these kids, yeah, or go outside the barstool network, but use your fucking yeah. You know, use, you're, you're gonna have to if you look yeah, at the not, that's, Actually, that's a complete lie. You know? Well, we, we we do charity for the right for certain things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many adopted kids we would have. Uh, yeah, but, then, but yeah, so we just do like the Sarah McLaughlin commercials where we'll be the ones like for 65 cents a day, these kids can have water. We should do that with just us. Just we, should, we should be like sad. Can you sponsor like, us? Uh -huh. We need sponsors. I Suck our guts in and just like. <laughs> yeah. Got like fly, flies landing on my eyeballs. I don't, even, I don't even need to do a photo shoot for this. I just have these pictures. <laughs> like, like, they're just pictures of me looking like a kid who needs some money. You, you could probably get like a little sad boy season thing going. Be like, can I just have money because I'm sad? Yeah. People like, yes, here you go. Here you go, man. Go like buy some liquor. We can get some fake flies and like kind of tape them on. Oh. <laughs> Swollen bellies and flies. Have you seen the else. fucking things in the, the four days in, in the urinals room. now with flies? To aim for the fly. It's, I love it. It's, it's so it was such a surprise though. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, it's that fly thing. It's such a surprise. Are they like dangling or something? No, or? They're not it's just like it's like almost like a, like a sticker or painted on the back of the urinal. Oh, okay. And you just kind of like it's a game, which is an, an idea I had do. years ago. Mm. Toilet games. Because, cause like, I don't know, it's fun to try well, and pee we, things We had off. that little, like, soccer goal for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go yeah. through it? Well, I think it had, like, a little ball kind of dangling. Ball in it, and you kind of yeah. push it back. Oh, could, that's like, cool. Hit it. Yeah. But you're, so you're saying this is just basically like a target on the back of yeah. the porcelain? 
I like, like the like, soccer ball make it dangling. Target? That's a cool idea. Yeah, you can really move it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, you almost like, need it like a. It could be a fly. It could have been anything. Like, why? You know what they I should guess, make? Like, oh, I know. Flies go in your. Like, they swir like swirl around. Because if you do have a fly who's landed on a urinal, you're, of course, trying to hit it. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. You're not, like, yeah, giving yeah. warning shots like the Israelis no, you're trying do. to like, drown that shit out soon. But I'll be honest. If you have flies swarming your urinals, you're in a trash place. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fucking garbage, man. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna create one that has like a balloon on the top, like at the carnival. You pee into a hole and, a and it goes up. <laughs> burst out. How fun wins, would that burst be? Out, burst out, piss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know why I was playing. <laughs> I win. I win. Like, yeah. oh, of course. <laughs> That's a good one. That would be awesome though if you could pop a balloon every time you pee. That would stop people from doing what the worst thing is: is they go on their phones as they're peeing, and then they stop peeing and they're still on their phones, mm. and then you're behind them. And you have to break that code of silence that men have. It's like yeah, when you're done, go. But yeah. you have to be like, <clears throat> hey, are yeah. you still pe like? Yeah. Move. You can't possibly yeah. still be going, bro. Yeah, and you can't tap them. No, can't touch them. But like, get out of there! Everybody's uh -huh. waiting. Uh huh. No, I'm with I you. I know exactly I, what I, you mean because I do it. Cause you, yeah, yeah. Cause <laughs> I mean, we've all. No, I do too. It. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, the fact that like it's to the point where you can't put your phone down for a for like, a second, second piss, to you know, piss. is insane. It's getting real bad. But you, but when you go off the grid, you go off the grid, right? Uh, yeah, and I got to do it again. I went to I went to Ecuador for six months. I didn't go off the grid, so I was still in contact. It wasn't as fun. And yeah, because that's really so. Now you're just living life in a different place, but yeah. you still have the same stresses and all the nonsense. A right? lot less, but yeah, some. Yeah, the yeah. phone is the real key. Just fucking. So what I did, I did is like I took a, I took a, I gave my. I changed my password. I just went like this, like change the password to this. Really? Yeah, and then I. Um, That's commitment. Yeah. Because then yeah. it's like now you can't even do it I if you wanted to. I pasted that to a friend for like okay. all my social media, my email, like everything I needed. And then I was like, don't give it to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't take her number with me. And then I took my phone. I just like I pushed off, threw it in my drawer. And then like I called an Uber for the airport, wow. threw my phone in my drawer, and then left. And then bought like Do you a have anybody phone. that loves you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anybody who reached, like is like we need we might need to get in contact with you? Yeah, yeah. My mom was mad about it, yeah. but it's like sorry, I gotta do shit. She's like, what if something happens? Like, what do you mean? You're talking about if someone dies. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna miss the funeral. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the answer. answer. That's what. Yeah, happens. yeah. <laughs> I'll mourn when I find out. It doesn't matter when it happens. <laughs> they'll be dead now. They'll be dead two months from now. It yeah. doesn't really fucking matter. You ever find out like a celebrity died like three years later? And you're like, <laughs> oh, and people are like we're past that. You're like, no, wait, I'm dealing with it right now though. <laughs> I'm, I'm grieving. Yeah. I'm mourning now. We're, well, the, the very first time I think we interviewed you, you were I think you were dating somebody, but you had like an open relationship situation going where you could fuck whoever you want. Yeah, is that still a thing? I'm not dating anybody now. Yeah, is that is that still like if you? Don't you say. Yeah, <laughs> I fuck a lot. I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what you said the first time too. You're like, I just like to get butt. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember term. being like, I don't think that works. But if there is someone who could pull it off, it's probably this guy Dude, and the I, wacky chicks that he fucks. It's New York, bro. Yeah, you can I, find I, someone. You, there's a lot of people who do that. An ex, I was just talking to, and I was like, Are you still with that guy? She goes, Yeah, and a girl. They have they have a three way dating really. It's that, New York. It's that nuts. is what's nuts to me because I don't. The last thing I want is more relationship. Yeah, you know, like another one birthday sucks. to remember. <laughs> yeah, what if you get the another wrong one? Another person to get mad, like to oh. get mad at you, or the one like another thing to fight with. It's like, oh, yeah, or now you're taking sides. Oh, you're that's gonna, gotta be yeah. a nightmare. Oh yeah, like that when is they walk true. in and two girls They're are like, like, I said this and she said that. So what do you think? And it's like. I yeah, think I'm going to kill myself. If you're going to get into a fight, you know you don't want the two girls being against you. No, yeah. no you have to, like, you, pry yeah. one. You better like, be on the like, side of Like, before I give you my answer, I just want you to know she said you're fat. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> but, yeah, no, that, that seems to me. I never thought me... about that. Where, like, it is, like, at least it's polyamorous. In, in a, in a, That's that shit. That's that, that I can't understand. But in a male-female relationship, like, at least it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Usually she's going to win, but like, yeah. at least it's 1-1. One, one, we got like, a shot, maybe. We got a shot. If yeah. it's 2-1, you're done. Done. But also that would lead me to throw my hands up and be like, whatever, hoes. Like <laughs> yeah. you're dating me. I don't I don't know. Figure it out amongst yourselves. You ever see um um Revolutionary Road? That movie? No. This is a guy and he's just like so sick of his life towards is, the end. Is that Leo? Yeah. 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 And the, he's Bleak a side fuck, character. Right? And his wife is yelling at him and he just turns down his hearing aid <sighs> to off. Slowly. Imagine that if you yeah. could just <laughs> That's some black mirror shit if I could just be like, uh -huh. see you fucking later. Do uh, you think you'll ever uh, settle down? I don't know. Someone will trap me. I got a vasectomy, yeah. so Did you? that ain't going to be an issue. I <laughs> thought I should have got a vasectomy. <laughs> yep, I should have. I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I should still get a vasectomy. The best is blasting away inside a chick. She's like, wait, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, shouldn't be an issue. I'm like, what do you mean shouldn't <laughs> be an issue? 
Doc said 99.9, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> good luck on that point oh one, baby. <laughs> yeah, the vasectomy is kind of like it just takes the, any any discussion out of out of your hands. Yeah, it's not an issue. It's, I mean, I've had sex with chicks where I was like, and I try to be like, like, I don't know, responsible about it. Like, hey, do you have anything? And then also, like, if the worst should happen, you got pregnant, like, would, would you have an abortion? And I've had girls who are like, no, I would not have an abortion. And I'm like, oh, let me well, let me get one fucking raw dog pump in then. <laughs> Just one. Even and with then, the vasectomy? No. You before, still work? Before, oh, before. before. Okay, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In and out, in and out, then I'll put it on. It's a great way to, like, bring around anal. But like, oh, I wish I could take a chance, but we'll just have to fuck in your butt. <laughs> it's like, what about a condom? Like, can't get butt pregnant. <laughs> you can't get butt yeah. pregnant, lady. What if that was the end result of COVID, that you can now get butt pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> the vac- the vaccine sure allows fast. you to get butt pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they, in Ecuador, they didn't know the, the rumors for the vaccine were that it was going to turn you gay. Uh, yeah. And that uh, it would make you sterile. Those were the two. Mm. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's gay. a good, that's a that's a good combo at least. Like I'm <laughs> sterile, but I'm gay now, so whatever. It yeah. didn't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't having kids regardless. Yeah. yeah, they were really worried about like I don't want to fucking wake up gay. <laughs> I'm like, what's this based on? What are you basing it on? I live in New York. I know, I'm around so a lot stupid. of gays. I've never seen. Well, you know what that is? That's that's a bunch of like. Are, are they deeply religious there, by any chance? They're somewhat religious. For yeah, sure. so those are people who want to be gay and can't come out. Oh, you know? yeah. And they're like, hey, yeah, I got the I got the vaccine. I'm gay now. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah. You know? Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Mom. It was the shot. <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna go suck some dicks. That's why you know. Who gets I can't help it. Yeah. I got it in my blood. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what the priests are all doing. The the ones that get the bad rap, the priests are the ones that fuck the little boys or girls, right? Mostly boys. Uh, yeah. But like, you know who doesn't get the press is just the straight, straight up gay priests. And they enter the priesthood because they're like, I'm not allowed to do this because yeah. my religion. So I'll enter a place where I'm not allowed to fuck anything. anything. Yeah. So then I'm not, I don't have to worry about it. Well, just like I'm next to a heterosexual, he can't fuck what he wants to fuck. So I can't fuck what I want to fuck and I don't have to sin. And, but here's the deal since they're all there and they're gay. They're fucking. They fuck they're fucking yeah, that, that, I was priest say, on priest. The problem with your 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 thing here is that they still want to fuck and right. do fuck. So yeah. the heterosexual ones are like, hey, I can't have sex. So you're not around a bunch of hot chicks who want to fuck right, you, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, those yeah, homosexual yeah. priests, they're just fucking. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to talk to you. We need to like bone up on Genesis. <laughs> like, I bet you want to bone up on Genesis. <laughs> Excuse me. The one hetero is like, what do you guys talk about all the time? <laughs> it, it's pretty crazy that the Catholic Church like is like. Well, we could just let these priests live a normal life and like fuck people and have families and marriages, but now we're just gonna stick this rule and have a crisis on our hands where they fuck little children. <laughs> it's so weird. Let, we'll just let them rape kids. Yeah, this isn't in, like a instead. problem with, with rabbis, right? No. no. Well, they, no, we, no, we have an occasional one that fucks a kid, but we don't. You like, guys had the the mouth herpes <laughs> thing too. Yeah, but we don't what take that? Kid. these kids. Were, they were circumcising kids with their mouths. Oh, that's right. No, 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 yeah, they that's, yeah. circ- no, no. That's your people. We talked about this last time. They were circumcising. Your, them they with were. Their mouth. <laughs> they were lubing it up for the circumcision. Oh, god, that's probably biting off the foreskin. Yeah, they were. No. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a Absolutely. like a little spare rib, just a little. <laughs> ar- 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 yeah, with a little canine, huh? snapping oh. like a laffy taffy, like a cold <laughs> laffy taffy. Uh, yeah, mm. though they, you had your own issues. Yeah, 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 sure. But here's the deal: we don't fucking rape the kids and then transfer them to another place. Yeah, we, we rape the kids and then be like, "No, nah, you got to go to jail." Yeah, yeah at <laughs> least I'm not better. saying don't rape kids. <laughs> Obviously, I get it. <laughs> But you, you can't protect these people. You're on your Dude, own. I, I love like the punishment or whatever. They send you to like the Vatican. It's like go live in the Almafi Coast now. <laughs> yeah. Go live in Italy because that's like the one little haven where there's go no be, law. Go live yeah. in a, an actual town of gold. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. right. Like, that's your punishment. Like, you know what the idea of heaven is? You get to go now. Yeah, we put that on Earth, and that's where you got to go because you fuck little kids. Why does someone invade the Vatican? You fucking dominate. There's no yeah. way they have a good army. No, the fucking Swiss Guard. Yeah, they'll fuck Swiss those guys. Swiss Guard. <laughs> those guys are pussies. Come at me. <laughs> well, <if> you, <laughs> have you seen what they wear, the Swiss Guard? Yeah, it's like a fucking. Fr- they look like they're about to go on a parade. It is. What is it? It's, it's unbelievable. It's like these big, you know, it's like a ridiculous costume. 
Yeah, it is. They're the least intimidating really? guys of all time. <laughs> yeah, bro. You got it? Yeah, yeah I mean, look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look like a chess piece. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's who fucking defends the Vatican. Uh, I punch one of those guys in the nuts. They do nothing. Yeah, that's what I mean. These guys are such <laughs> fucking pussies. Clothes. They look like MC Hammer if you took it too far. <laughs> look at these fucking helmets, man. <laughs> Get lost. Uh, you have feathers in your head. <laughs> yeah, and they all are, like, pretty. Like, look at that guy. He's, like, a pretty boy. He's probably getting fucked by the priests. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why they want them there. Like those guys can't defend yeah, who do you shit. Think, who do you think designed those outfits? Those <laughs> amazing outfits. A bunch of gays. <laughs> Queer eye for the guards. They, uh, if they could just, if they could just come out, yeah. the Vatican would be like the greatest gay force oh, on the planet. God, the everything is lavish. Everything is fancy. We wear these fancy clothes. We're all pretty. We're all, you know, Pride Month in the Vatican would be popping if oh, they would just admit God. to themselves what the deal is. Yeah, the parades would be great. The Pope is the gayest of the gays. <laughs> I wonder if the Pope is gay or just like it's part of my world. He can fuck whatever he wants, right? Don't all those people eventually fuck kids? <laughs> I would imagine the Pope gets to, gets you know prima nocta. Yeah, like are you, you going to send your kids to Catholic school? Uh, they're already kind of in it. Whoa. They're already in it, but not no, like not like. Do you at least ask the priest at the council? Yeah, like, like hey, there's, there's no, I, there's, I, I don't, <laughs> hey, are you a, are you a raper? I gotta ask, do you rape kids? Are you a uh, like, rapey? Yeah. I, 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 I don't have any. Like, like uh, if you're a cop, you gotta tell me. Like, if you're yeah, a raper, exactly. you gotta tell me. Remember when people <laughs> ask you if you smoke, like, not cigarettes, <laughs> you know? So like, do you rape? They're like, not kids. <laughs> like, okay. I don't have any priests teaching my kids. No? Not, like, they're all teachers. They're all like women teachers. I think if you're a male teacher of kids, Kids, there's a problem. You're suspect. Already weird. You're suspect. Or, or if you're a coach and you don't have a kid on the team, suspect. Suspect already. Like, why, what are you doing? Right off why the Why do bat. you want to yeah. leave the youth? Like Someone Saturday, so you're giving up your, your like a, a 30-year-old man, something. You give yeah. up your, your Saturday mornings to, like, no, come on. I feel come the on. same way about people with the gardens. What, this is being done for you. You don't have to get involved here. <laughs> yeah. You, it, it, you're, you're raping kids. a little kids. less harmless yeah. than you're yeah. a garden versus raping Growing, a kid. Yeah, but, yeah, something's you know. up. Something's up. Final Bird got raped as a there. kid. I uh, yeah. oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Many times, really, I think. <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's like three that you know of, and there's probably like five more that you suppress. <laughs> five yeah, that kid, I don't remember my childhood. But so. that, that guy that <laughs> came out of the woods. The ones you suppress. We blacked it all out. I don't remember anything until like before 14. Um, but the that's why you always say like I don't know I was seven yeah I'm he, just making up ages yeah. he'll tell a story <laughs> from when he was like driving a car to when he was like in preschool he's like I don't know I was like seven they're all seven <laughs> but that guy who came out of the woods and played catch with you definitely fucked you yeah oh I had this coach who was like he was the t team was the twins he had a he was a big fat guy where you know kind of Barrel chest. Husky. Yeah. He had a long ponytail and a cane. Oh, yeah. And he'd come out of the oh, woods. Oh, nice. He out of the woods. He, he didn't have his own kids on the team. He'd come out of the woods across the street from my, my house, knock on the door, and ask my parents if I could come out and play catch. And his mom and, said and, yes. And my mom would be like, yeah, go ahead. This is before they knew about stuff. Yeah. And then and my dad came home one time. I was playing catch. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing in my house? Get out of here!" Like, <laughs> really? You can play. You can talk to my son at practice. Get the fuck out of here. And even then, it's suspect. But yeah, definitely not off hours at my <laughs> fucking property. What a golden age of pedophilia! <laughs> oh, because yeah. you had electricity, you had cars. You know, you could go do things, but but no one knew the, the interconnectivity no wasn't yeah. there yet. Yeah, it was the best time. Yeah, <laughs> really a golden <laughs> age for the pedos. Dude, I tried to. I tried to. I, I went through like a crisis of. You know, self, uh -huh. uh, and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna like mentor a kid, and so I applied for like Big Brother program in Brooklyn. Yeah. They were like, nah, no thanks. No way, <laughs> really? Yeah, of course, really. Yeah, they were like, yeah, no, well, we're well, all, like, give we're me your resume, sad, buddy. You enjoy your Saturday. Wow, I feel like. Well, why would you want this kid grooming anybody? I feel like the issue is not grooming is not the word I want to use. There. <laughs> grooming. That kind of that, those programs should be gone by now. If you think about it, it really is. It's 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 like. Uh, because all those guys also have big brothers. They need fathers. <laughs> Give me a big father. <laughs> really? The, the, like, my, my cousin did. Like, I was trying to apply to his program. And he, like, like say, like, this kid goes to, like, fucking Emory now. This kid's, like, a fucking genius. Really? Yeah. Because of your cousin, you think? Or you just, I think it you know, helped a lot. I think you get stuck he, with a lemon. Sometimes you get a good one. He, uh, he, my cousin raised him. Not raised him, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, fucking did it from when he was, like, 8 to 18. What, you, like, meet with him, like, once a week or some shit? Yeah. Oh, and, then, wow. and then, like once a week, like I did it in Israel for like a, like three weeks. It was once a week, and then I just ghosted him. I'm remembering <laughs> it now. I didn't want to do it anymore. I missed it once. I was too embarrassed to go back. I'm just like <laughs> never saw him again. Never talked to him. 
Well, at least you didn't rape him. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking around going, could be worse. You know, that, you know, that guy over yeah, there I got raped. Yeah, I did rape him, to my credit. <laughs> I did my credit. I could have told, if he, if the mom was like, that really hurt my kid, I would be like, listen, I was going to rape him. I was really getting the urges to rape this got kid, so and so I had to get out of there. I'm sorry to try to tell you and make up an excuse, but I'm looking at this fucking swimsuit issue where she's, she wrote the most noncommittal, one of my first stops since finding out I got this cover. It was. Not even my first stop. Nope. <laughs> she wasn't the first. Yeah, no, she wasn't. One of my first stops since finding it. <laughs> yeah, well, was she? Were you any of her stops? No, you weren't. Who's she like the right. hottest chick you fucked? Um, oh man. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've, there are some chicks I fucked that I'm like, this should. I should. This shouldn't have happened. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's unbelievable what what some women will do with certain people. It's yeah, just like, like what, what are, you are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why woman? would you let like that guy or why would you let me inside of you? It's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like. So who's that chick you fucked? I mean, not like celebrities. Yeah, there's nobody. There's nobody. There's yeah, nobody it's just know. like women who don't know their value. Yeah, <laughs> that's my sweet spot. Recently broke up in long-term relationships, and women who don't know their value. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lot of girls. I used to be a lot of girls like rebounds of like I just mm. got out of this five year thing. That and makes I, sense. I don't think you're going to be like abusive, so you'll like, you're like get back on the get back, <laughs> get on, back the on the horse. Yeah. yeah. You also, I feel like you're better with your head shaved like than when you had hair. I think you were weird looking when you had hair. Maybe with the curly I, hair. I, yeah, the be- I, I, I like the better curly decision hair. to bring. I like the, yeah. I like the full head hair. My friend just sent me a picture of me uh, high fiving. <sighs> wasn't Stanton. Um, fuck, some old Yankee. We were just there. He came by. Jim Larritz. Jim uh, Larritz. Yeah, but my he head was so people. fucking full. He murdered? He, uh, he he ran over some people with a car drunk. Big dead. <sighs> On purpose? Mm, well, I think he got out? He's, he's free. I think, I think he got vehicular manslaughter or some shit. I don't know. That's a tough one. Mm. You know, it used to be an excuse if you ran over somebody. Like, I was drunk. And then the judge was like, all right. It's like self-defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I do firmly purpose. believe that I was drunk is an excuse. When people it's were, definitely an excuse. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, gotta, we, we say this all the time, like, an excuse, I'm not saying that it makes it right. Yeah. I'm just saying there is a the reason, reason why this happened. If I was sober, I wouldn't have run over that person. Yeah, you want to be like, you just I ran over drunk. them? Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, I was texting. I was, I oh. was embarrassed, yes, <laughs> right, right. It wasn't like I looked at him, sought him out, and did it. <laughs> yeah. I was distracted like, by well, choice. Right, don't text. And you're like, oh, no, I, no, I, I know texting. that now. I've yeah. run over something. I'll never do it again. Only at red lights from now on. Only at red lights and under 50 miles an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no excuses are 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 uh, huge. Yeah, I mean, like, like no excuses. Just, that's no. not an excuse. No, it, it is definitively an excuse. Yeah, it's, you know, a, it, it's just the we need to define excuse better. It, it should just be yeah, here's yeah, my yeah. reason. It's not you're not excused. Here's a reason right. why. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not asking for absolution because I'm just yeah, saying like, right. Th- I'm this not, is why it happened. I'm not a madman. <laughs> There's a, a method to the to the what happened here, and I don't expect you to forgive me. But this is what happened. You know a fun one when somebody's like texting while they're driving, you're in the passenger seat, and they're whatever you might be texting too, red light, and then you're just like they're looking down, you just go green, and then they just <laughs> start just go. going. Yeah. They, do. they just yeah. start going because they always always embarrassed they're texting where they yeah. should have. So they start, they're like, what the yeah. fuck? That's <laughs> <laughs> great. You just have to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that while it's still red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. People get mad. Get yeah. <laughs> 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 Worth it. That's just fun. <laughs> um. Why are you here? What are you are you promoting anything? I have a tour. I'm yeah. like on the road again, but really just right. like I don't know. I like the show. Yeah, <laughs> I'm there. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I'll be in like I'll be in Nashville and, and uh, Spokane and Tacoma and it's a bunch of other places. Well, some of these places have got to fucking suck, right? Some of them suck, but I've been able to like not have to go to those places anymore. Yeah. I'm going to Miami, and You're it's like the it. first time it, since they, their club used to be so fucking bad. Me and Big J are going together at the end of September, mm-hmm. but like. And then they got a new club, but it was like, no, I'm not doing that. Once your schedule's full enough, you can be like, fuck that place. Why was Miami? It so bad? The Miami Improv. It's just a bunch of screaming Cubans. Mm. <laughs> just like, it's the Coke vibe, and no one told them to shut up. It was just a badly trained audience. God, Coke sucks unless you're on Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's so fucking good. <laughs> Would you rather be sober around a bunch of drunk people or uh, not on Coke around a bunch of people who are coked up? <sighs> sober drunk. You would rather be in that? Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. So, uh, yeah, coked up's okay. Because honestly, most people who do coke can handle it okay. They just go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they just take frequent trips to the bathroom. But besides that, it's the same as like hanging out with your dad's friends. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they talk a lot and they gotta pee. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They think their their stories are better than they are. <laughs> that is a great comparison. Put that on stage, man. Yeah, that that okay. is good. That's for sure gonna be a yeah. <laughs> coke is such a weird one because everyone's so embarrassed about doing coke. It's the only drug where people are really, really hide it. Which is weird too, though, because everyone, everyone does knows. it. Everyone yeah. does it. Every, everyone. Everybody. Like, everybody does it. Everybody knows. It's it's like the worst kept secret. If you're so just like not, a, let me try to keep it a secret. Any bar in New York, I know eighty percent of the people in there have cocaine. Oh, yeah. It should be like a, the the bowls of peanuts. <laughs> or you know, do it put sometimes. it out in the fucking bar. And so they disappear somehow. You <laughs> tell me. Yeah. No one eats them, but they're, they keep <laughs> but being they're empty. Gone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know people that hide it from their wives. Well, but that it's makes not sense. like coke abusers. They just do it once in a while. Yeah. I you gotta like, hide fun things from your wife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're having any fun while married and the, and that fun does not involve your wife, you're not allowed to do that. They get well, mad about like, that. So that so for comedians, that's what they do. So you go on the road, the wife checks in. Exactly. Like, How you doing? It's like ah, oh, bored, just in the hotel room. Because you can't tell them like. This is a great museum here, or there's a rodeo blast. in town. Right. Or it's fucking, yeah, I don't even, know, the open is a friend of mine. We're it, having a it, good time. It doesn't have to up. be like, yo, I'm, I'm out banging these chicks yeah. and partying all night. Like, it's like, there's cool stuff in the hike. city, and I am, I'm enjoying my life without you. You're like, boom, that's it. You're yeah, it's like, what do you want me to do? I'm working for three hours here. And I'm here for three days. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going, I'm doing Spok- uh, Tacoma and then Spokane in September, and uh, I've just invited two openers that like camping. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to camp in like central Washington in, the, mm-hmm. in, the, in between. Oh, let me see. Yeah, so we get like four days of. I'm trying to make the road fun <laughs> this year. Yeah, your life's probably pretty cool. <laughs> I, I mean, think I've I, done I a think I would. Job. I don't know. I, 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 I like hate it. your life. <laughs> yeah. But also, I just respect the fuck out of your freedom. Yeah, it's the. Freedom. I would not thanks, do thanks. what you do with your freedom. But you God not. damn it, do I respect it? <laughs> like, I would never go camping. But That's the good fact that said. you can just fucking go camping <laughs> yeah. or go live like a monk or whatever the weird shit you do. I would never do any of it, but that's pretty awesome that you can. Thanks. Dude, I've seen some urinals in, in like, Myanmar and shit where it's, like, there are flies everywhere. And it's fun because it's, like, it's fun to go check those things out. It's fr- it's fr- the ability to be, like, fuck this. Yeah. And just, like, call JFK or, yeah. I don't know, like, make a flight, but, like, <laughs> just, like, go. Yeah, I, I get that. That, that's that got to be a good feeling. And, then, only, and then drop I'm, it and go back home whenever you want to. And yeah. Like, you know, it's, you got a parachute. You can just, you're not, like, stuck in a yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. I've only, I've only ever done it once. I, I got like I got one to Columbia, and I got like a call on like a Friday. It's Friday night, and I have a friend who's there. She's like, "You should come down this weekend." And I was like, "Done." And I just booked flight. Three flights. Saturday morning was out. It actually, we it did have a that had a layover in my, uh, Miami. Okay. But it was oh, like yeah. I was there in like six hours, probably something like that. I stayed for four days. And then like, you just oh. you wake up here and you're just in Medellin yeah. at <laughs> night. And you're just like it's so fun and cool and foreign. Mm. There's no reason not to go for and, four days, five days, or two weeks. And I, well, like, I, I went to Bogota, and I was like, I had thought oh, that, like, I had the, the preconceived notions of what you see in movies about Bogota. Uh-huh. Bogota is basically fucking Tokyo. Really? Bogota was really sick. Like, it was, like, yeah. futuristic, and I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. And then she was like, yeah, but also don't go to this park at night. Cause right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, what was that? That's the, how the devil's dust there. or whatever? Uh, yeah, Devil's Dust. You ever, you ever that? encounter no. that? It's like this drug that makes you lose your free will. Really? So basically, they like, like, like cabbies like face. blow it on you, and no then way. like, and then it's like, all right, go get some money at the ATM, and then you just like wake up like three days later with no just money. Do there, it. there were stories yeah. of people like, uh, like they 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 their impart their apartment got like cleaned out. And they went down to like the doorman, being like, "What the fuck happened?" And he was like, "You said you were moving. Like you brought your cousins and you moved out of your apartment." Devil's dust. I I I think that's what it's called. Something like devil, the dust of the. That sounds like a rumor. It it does sound like that, but then I've heard that they they they, warn against it. Like when you're in and you're in uh, whatever city it is, like she was was like, "Do not get in a cab." Um, You were in the cab. That's not marked. She she, yeah. She was like, "Don't wait in a cab line." But like because, no matter how long it is, but because you, it would already, you know, like when you come into a new country, it, it takes a little while for your phone to switch over to uh-huh. get the text messages that cost five dollars each one. Yeah, I was already in another cab. Oh really? <laughs> and, I, and I just, it's like, I was like, okay. well, whatever happens, happens here. Let's see what. <laughs> I will tell you the things to look up is you get you get you use an ATM at the airport before you get out, so no one can see you, so the cabs don't see you like uh, getting money. Uh, that bunch of cash, you have to have, yeah. be able to pay them some cash in local currency. Find out before you get there how much is the cab from the airport to Wherever, Central. so you don't get yeah. robbed, yeah. Yeah, so that you can just be like, when they're like 20, like, it's four. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah right, 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 um, right. And then that's it. And then you get to your hotel or your hostel, and then you're set. But, like, that's all you need. Some little local currency, which you can get in New York, too. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, change yeah. over. Exchange the, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, uh, what's, like, uh, you got any near-death experiences? 
for any spots like anything that was ever like holy shit yeah like nature shit yeah where yeah, i'm yeah. like i almost went off a cliff so many times yeah i'm not equipped to ride motorcycles or mopeds yeah, but then i do <laughs> down like unequipped roads in uh in uh ecuador the roads are so bad and then they have these fogs come in on these mountain roads that are super windy with no guardrail or anything right no guardrails yeah. and then people coming barreling at you the mm -hmm. other direction and then at some point like it's f so foggy i mean like you can't see I couldn't see the door. You have to go like four what? miles an hour. Yeah, it just it just pours in. And then one of the lanes was just out, was just crumbled down <laughs> to a mountain. And so I'm like going, and then suddenly you just slam on the brakes, and there's just a hole to like down a cliff. And then you gotta switch lanes and get around it, but you can't see 10 feet behind you. Dude, Jesus Christ. Well, and also, when you're fun. switching lanes, you gotta hope someone's not coming barreling. Yeah, down. that's what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, fuck. How do I do <laughs> that? How do I do this? I'm like, should we just stay here? Or somebody's not gonna hit me from behind and knock me over? Oh my Dude, even, uh, even like, in uh, I went to Italy where it's you know we're not like talking about the fucking jungle and the, it's the, the same roads shit, are so the tiny yeah. and it's like and they you know pass each other it's two lanes opposite so ways fast. and every time I'm sitting there I was going like <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that was like you know regular cities are they over driving there. the right on the same side of this road there as us or um do they no I don't think they do Scotland in those in those lo like super small lanes and they go so fast and, and the, they have the no map. problem and being like little inches away from yeah. each other it's like they're acting like it's totally normal it is normal to them and me I'm like we're gonna hit we're gonna hit yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> where's uh like a spot like where's your uh your white whale place I want to go back I, I didn't go to Laos I want to go to Laos I want to go to the Philippines so many, I'm gonna go through, all through South America I think the next time I really get lost I'm gonna go for like I'm gonna chase the sun in South America for a year. I'm just gonna like start north, go all the way down to like Antarctica, and then back up. So you don't Antarctica? be there in like middle of June. Can you do that? Can you yeah. go to Antarctica? Yeah, but you know, just for like a pop over for a second, yeah, then like just like go all the them. way through South America. Mm -hmm. and just Have you gone to Africa? No, I was almost went there for COVID. Really? Yeah, I was thinking of of not Kenya. I was gonna go work on a farm in Kenya before COVID for like a month. Somebody told me that in Medellin. He was like, "It's cool, and you know, you get a lot out of it, and it's fun. Learn some Swahili." <laughs> so I was like, all right. But then COVID happened. But then there was some country, we'd, Zimbabwe maybe, and I'm like, maybe we'll go there. We kind of like narrowed it down. And then you're like, they do burn gays. <laughs> and you're like, um, well. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I'm not worried, worried. But I'm I was like, going to say, that shouldn't really impact me, but I don't think I really want to be around those type of yeah, people. Exactly. So I was like, I get handsy when I get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I dress a little questionable. I don't want to get set on fire. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We got, I got a unicorn or a, what was that, Norwal on the shirt and a pink shirt right now. Normal, yeah, normal on a monkey. See, yeah, that, yeah, that'll get you lit on fire in Zimbabwe. Yeah, exactly. Like, pink, <laughs> come on, dude. You're burning. Come on. Obviously, we're going to burn you. That's an NFT right there, bro. That's an NFT. Bam. You, 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 you sell that account. thing, you'll be rich. Dude, uh, they make ones with monkeys right now. Yeah. There's like a monkey line. The cheapest one, 25K. 25,000. And there's ones that are like 300,000, 400,000. And people put their assumed things. value in it. So people are like, it's, it's sold for that much, so it's worth that much. That's the name of the game, brother. It's like same everything thing else with baseball cards. You're right because we're like, this is worth ten grand. Same thing with everything. Same thing with fucking value to twenty. Same thing with cash, man. It's like this. Just we assume this is worth five dollars. Yeah. It's just a piece of fucking paper. So do you know uh, in Ecuador the two dollar bill has like not mystical properties? They use American dollars, but they don't have two as much. And so it just people are so intrigued by it. I think that happens here too. I feel like you see yeah, a two dollar bill, yeah. you're like, whoa. And it's worth slightly more even because here than that? two dollars. Really? So like if someone was like. Would you give me two dollars and ten cents for this two? You might get some takers, mm -hmm. right? It mm -hmm. has a slightly more value than a two. So what if I just get all the two dollar bills in the world? Also, those two dollar bills, cents. the Italians. They do. Yeah, yeah. They they, 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 they they keep them on them, right? Yeah. Like but is it for good luck. Oh yeah. You give a tip and a two, people are like, dude. So we took a hundred with us, and it was like mm -hmm. when you do tip and you like kind of walk away, they're like, they're like whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we saw people put put one into a cash register and look around and like take two hours out of his pocket. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. It's coming with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, why Why did the, I feel like a two for a long time was probably really convenient. Not so much anymore because everything's like inflation. But yeah, there was have, a while where everything was a $1.50. Or Canada like little, has a toonie, little, right? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I feel like that's like, why, Al, Al, Alex Hamilton got the jam job on that one. He's on a two? <laughs> no, no, that's a 10. Who's yeah. on a uh, Jefferson's Jeff on it too. Thomas like Jefferson. he just got screwed. Yeah, our money's all off. By the way, we should we should redo all the faces. Shouldn't have fucked all your workers. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe be, maybe, maybe, be maybe you'd be on the five. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that we give uh, like Ulysses S. Grant the fifty. Ulysses S. Grant. Nobody Ulysses knows a fucking shit about him. Right. Who what do you do? You do? Uh, 
Lincoln and Washington are the top yeah. two, so they're, they're good on the one and the five. Andrew Jackson's on the, t- the Andrew 20. Andrew Jackson, what did he do? He was a big-time slant ring guy, so we should probably remove that. you got to take down everybody now, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why all these guys probably should be gone. <laughs> yeah. ha- ha- Hamilton you just gotta was put, on You've got to put, like, trees and shit. <laughs> well, they, the I, think, I think they petitioned yeah, nothing to should ever be based on a person. No. Nah. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, it's gonna age like buildings shouldn't be named after people. It should be named after just yeah. other things, because yeah. guess yeah. what? I heard he talked shit about his friends. Yeah. Get rid of them. I, I think they said they want to put Harriet Tubman on the 10. There was also a not. for that. Nah. Can't she do her? Tip. She never tipped. <laughs> Literally, look up her fa- stats. There's not a single report of her ever tipping once. So, <laughs> fuck that. These people are hardworking service industry members. Hate her. Do you think? I, I think Benjamin Franklin kind of earned the 100, though. Benjamin I like him. Franklin. Like the, he's like the he president, non president, you know? Yeah. What about but, the guy who did four terms? FDR. Yeah, FDR. he should have one, huh? People loved him, right? He, like, saved the country. We didn't even give him a single bill. How about all no legs? Save, save the country by letting Old no Harbor happen? Yeah. That's FDR. That's FDR. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Old no legs who did four terms, and the people didn't even know he had no legs until it was, like, too late. <laughs> well, he had yeah, legs, yeah, but he yeah, couldn't yeah, use them. He couldn't them, do it now. Yeah. 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 yeah, that the was guy, a weird thing. I think that guy who died in the tub. It, should... If you dip in water and keep them there, like, for, like, a week, then they get, like, bigger and bigger. <laughs> 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 You're a bathtub toy, FDR. His legs are just like that all the time. Uh, here's a question for you. Okay. Um, how big do you have you do you have to be? Six inches, but it's about or- the birth. It's, it's, it's not about the uh, the length. <laughs> how, how big do you have to be, or what do you have to be involved in in order to get assassinated? Oh right, it's, as opposed to murdered. Yes. Yeah. Right. If one of you guys or me got killed, that would just be a stalker killing you. It wouldn't be assassinated. That's uh, that's just a murder. But I do think if like. But if you're, it's, if, it doesn't have to be politics because if you're like. Bill Gates would get assassinated. That's what I mean. Yeah. But I think there has to be some sort of I said like, Lennon, like John Lennon was assassinated. Because it was like a crazy yeah. fan, right? I think it has yeah. to be like some somebody kills you because of because what of, you do in your life. Because of your status. Yeah. Because of your, not status, your 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 job or whatever it's called. Your, um, yeah, whatever that is. Career, job. Yeah. Your, your, I think your, status your, works. Yeah. Status. But, but like, so if a crazed fan shot you, you don't think you'd well, be assassinated if, by a fan? Okay, so I'm saying now, if they assassinated you on your way out of here, and yeah. it's like they assassinated two members of Barstool Sports. Right. Yeah, that would be an assassination. You get, so we can get <laughs> assassinated. Yeah. My yeah. man. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah I, I think the same thing about you guys on stage. Like that, that dude yeah, who pulled uh, who pulled Big Jay Chad. off the stage, yeah. like that was an assassination attempt as far as I'm concerned. Me and Soder sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still president? I am still president. Are you still uh, enacting any policies or anything? I'm, I'm cooking up some stuff, but I'm not... Uh, <laughs> President Lee Joe Skanks, if you don't know, it's a popular podcast I'm not associated with it at all. <laughs> Except the fact that I am the president of that podcast. It, it, I don't know where where he's at now, but it was when I was in, it was driving Lewis so crazy <laughs> that I was like, this is the best thing that's ever happened. It's a skank fest. It's a uh, festival he runs, and I like to ruin it as best I can. The first year of skank fest, it goes, hey, uh, we're doing skank fest on whatever he said, June 17th, save the date. Uh, and I was like, can I tell people? And they're like, no, no, don't, because Lewis hasn't announced it yet. And I was like, You're well, then I'm asshole. definitely going to tell everybody. You're such an asshole. And yeah, and Christine was like, Ari, please don't. I'm like, listen, this is on you. I was going to say, <laughs> it's you in my brain now. Me. It's too late. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I just ruined it. It's so fun, ruined the announcements. Because he call. takes it so seriously, rightfully so. He's like running this company. Yeah. It's his life and his work, and you just make a mockery of it. Yeah, so Shane Gill is my vice president. <laughs> my vice president. Didn't he, he tell me he like gave up his seat or something? No, he gave up his presidency when I was gone. Which oh, I gave right, to him. right. Okay, okay, got, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're doing before Skankfest. We're, we called the the venue that they're running at the Secret Group in Houston. We're like, I want to run a show the other day before, <laughs> and the guy was like, Okay, we could do that. Like, let me just like call like Rebecca and Lewis and, and Christine, make sure it's okay with them. Like, no, let me no, stop no, it right no, there. No, no, it's not going to be okay with them, and that's <laughs> the reason has... I'm doing it. Uh, I just need a couple hotel rooms. That's it. We're doing it to piss them off. And he's like, I don't get it. He goes, You will when Skankfest comes. <laughs> it, it's all wrestling and spite. It, it's it's gonna make him mad, and that is the point. And it did. It made him quite mad. I bet. It's gonna be the best show at Skankfest. Not affiliated in any way with Skankfest. <laughs> <laughs> when we were when I was there, they were trying to find their interns, and there was one guy who was not showing up for any of the, the days of work. And we all thought it was funny, and we were all voting him in. And he was like, <laughs> I need interns <laughs> who do work. And it was like, nah, this guy's big time in you. It's pretty cool. Yeah. He was like, fuck. Hey, he, it'll bother him, but at least in his defense, like he gets how it's funny, so yeah. he won't stop it. But he'll be like, it really yeah. bothers because me. Because he's like committed to comedy. Uh-huh. He understands the value of it, but he's like, it's at my expense. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how long so has the term run? 
I, I think they said two years. Oh, my goodness. That seems like a long time. Yeah, they yeah. said two years and did not think an outsider was going to be winning. <laughs> no. I mean, once they started having the elections, and then when it was like Ari ran, it was like, wait, what? <laughs> that was just one yeah, of the Yeah, the, the Ari, Soder, Gillis super pack was unstoppable. Dude, the best was that – so we had to pick your running mates. So I was running, and then – um <laughs> Joe DeRosa, I'd already just, like, decided I'm going to pick Shane as my running mate. Yeah. And then Joe DeRosa said, hey, man, I want to be a running mate. And I go, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's do that. And we had this whole planned, like, I mean, we met at a bar daytime for, like, hours and planned how we are going to do the announcement, knowing full well he will not be my running mate. <laughs> and we had this whole, like, big reveal. He's going to be hanging out. He hid behind the bar the whole time, made a video, like, I can't be there today. Like the other running mates were, and he's like, I can't be there. And then suddenly he pops up, like, ha ha, you motherfuckers. You didn't think it was me. And I had a uh, a, a shirt that said, um, sh uh, what was it? DeRosa, Shafir and DeRosa. Shafir together with DeRosa, STD. Put the STD <laughs> back in the skanks. And then, uh, and then Shane just shows up, hadn't been on the podcast since before COVID. And everyone's like, oh my God, Shane's Shane here. here. What's like, oh, Shane doing right. here? Rip off my fucking DeRosa shirt. And it's just a Shafir and Shane shirt. And he's like, wait, what? I'm like, you're out. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's, just, that's just so mean. That's just so mean spirited. <laughs> oh, that's so great. It's <laughs> so great. I made a bunch it's of like, jokes. Oh, I just wasted your time and got your hopes up for something. <laughs> and when I, when I announced them, I, I brought some uh, 10 or 20 um, Shafir <laughs> together with DeRosa t shirts that I sold to the crowd that were instantly worthless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were instantly worth more. I was gonna say those are now collector items. Oh, they are collector items. <laughs> and then I sold some Joe De Loser shirts right after that. Too. <laughs> I had so much fun with Could you class. imagine his face? Like, like, wait, what? <laughs> I thought we were gonna run this thing for yeah. two years together. He was so mad. The skank selections were the best thing of comedy. Yeah, that was in, very, very over funny. The, over the break, that was very, very funny. Uh, and, and so when when would your two year term be up? That would I guess be, August. You know, next yeah, August. Next August. So you got to wreak havoc for another year. Yeah, I got to do. How some are you going to ruin Skankfest? Uh, anything planned to ruin the actual Skankfest? Not. No. 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 I don't know. What, I don't know. I got to start thinking about it. <laughs> one, I mean, one day it's just going to be like <laughs> I lock the doors and I burn it down. Yeah, <laughs> that's, go too far. that's the problem with that shit. Yeah. It's like the roast battles, you know, the roast. It's like, dude, you guys gotten too much. Yeah, it keeps going <laughs> and going and going. And going. Yeah. That that. Uh, do you do any of those? I've done it's so much work. Yeah, it's hard. I did right? Once against Big J. Can you look up who won? It was me. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, but that's the other so thing too work. is like you could be funny and and you could even have a good showing, but you know you get you lose one of those battles. It's bad. Yeah, Brendan Zisi did one against Sam Morrell in um in uh, you did Montreal. One? No, Sam? Brendan Zisi. Brendan Zissi. Steve Brendan. You know him? He's yeah, been I don't. Uh, I don't think we've had him oh, now. He's, he yeah. should have him in. But like um, he uh he just flubbed his first line. He goes, that's because you. The, Oh, that's oh. it. That's it, yeah, dude. Yep, you're done. Yep. Like, ah, here we go. You have no confidence. Yep, yep, yep. Lights out. Yeah. yeah, that is not for the weary, man. That is no fucking joke. Where uh, would you guys go if you could go anywhere? If you get off the grid and just fucking go? Oh, boy. Bogota was cool to do that. Bogota was sick. Bogota was very sick. I, I would probably go somewhere in Latin America, too. Um, I might, I, if I was going for like long term, because that's the idea to disappear. Uh huh. I'd probably do a Australia. Month. Australia. But that's got to. That's such a fucking hike that it's got to be like a month. I'm not going to Australia for like a week. Yeah. Spend like th four days traveling to get there. Yeah, it's a while. But but yeah, I think I would do some some Australia type shit. I think I think probably Ecuador. I think I, I, I like somewhere somewhere central. America. Oh, I could do the Mediterranean too. Mediterranean is good. Yeah. Ecuador is cool because it's there's different regions. So the Amazon and the beaches are like wildly different, mm -hmm. and the vibes and the mountains too are like the, the like the Bohemians and stuff. But like, and they don't kidnap white people in there. No, a little bit in Guayaquil, in like the main city, there's mm -hmm. a little gangy, but the rest are like there's not enough tourism to like mm -hmm. to make that. See, the thing is though, it's I feel like, like there's no beggars in Westchester. If, if, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have a look though where you can kind of blend in anywhere. Whereas, like, we look like dumb white boys, you know? No, that's you not You kind of look Southeast a little... Southeast Asia, you would, you would stick out the most. It's, but... It's Southeast Asia? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. have I... red hair. They were like... They were just like... <laughs> they, yeah, but, oh, he, they'd be like, that's our yeah. king. Yeah. This is dude, our fucking... What am I... The, the boy with the so fire hair. pictures taken of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they would just have no... Like, they just... They just <laughs> yeah. Them, right? That's yeah. the weirdest thing. They're like, can we take a picture? Like, should you have a camera? They're like, no, on your camera. And you're like, what do you want me to do with it? Like, just take it home to America. Just with me on it. <laughs> they just like like the idea of being, of being oh, crazy to America. My, one of my favorite stories, my brother, he was in Australia for... He was studying abroad. Yeah. And my uncle was going to Tokyo. And... Um, he convinced my parents, he's like, look, I'm never going to be over on this side of the world again. Like, can you get me a flight to Tokyo? 
and my parents got it thinking it was going to be like like a 45 minute flight. It's a nine hour flight. It's, like, it's <laughs> yeah, not yeah. close. Yeah. But he yeah, went, I'm on this side of the world. And so what? <laughs> yeah, you're on the yeah, bottom yeah. part of the world. <laughs> yeah, don't fly to Brazil for <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> but, but he had gone, he was in college, he was studying abroad. And he had gone, he's a big dude. And he had gone to the party that night dressed as the Hulk uh -huh. and just went to the airport the next morning, was still in like green, green. paint and like, <laughs> and like a shirtless, a sleeveless shirt. And uh, like a sleeveless vest, and uh, got on the flight like that. He's like, he's like, he's texting me when he gets to Tokyo. He's like, he's like, dude, I'm just walking around. And everyone is staring. At me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. I mean, for to be to be fair, you're painted green. I was gonna say that would but, happen anywhere. But it was like, <laughs> he's like, he was like, he's like, yeah, but he's, I'm just so much bigger than everybody here that like everyone's just flabbergasted by me. <laughs> you you don't think you blend in? I feel like you kind of have like an ethnic look. No, to I'm you. too like, tall for a lot of these places. I'm too mm -hmm. tall. No, I could blend in. Nah, no, nah. I was with Paul Morrissey in um in uh in uh Amsterdam, and we're going to a bar, and the guy was like, he was like Nigerian, um, and he was like, but he was living there, and he was like, come on in, sir, shalom, my brother, to me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no, I can still look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going back to uh, Israel anytime soon? I went with my brother a couple years ago. It was fun, but damn, it's different. Also, yeah. I'm not religious anymore. I was there last when I was like. You know, had Into the fucking that Rapunzel hair on the yeah. sides. <laughs> what made you, like, get out of that? Wised up. Yeah, I was just gonna, you, just, you just realized it was a fucking joke. Yeah. I read a different it's, book. It, yeah, it's so funny that, like, I mean, you're, you're, you're one of the most... Uh, Newporn.com changed my life. <laughs> like, you were, you were heavy into that shit, heavy, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you were just deep. like, wait a minute, I'm going to have a brain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have thoughts for myself. I mean, they have thoughts and stuff. It's just so... It's just such a restricted life. Mm-hmm. Do you, Some do you, of those guys do you, look do you down on me, like but I'm like, I look down on you. Yeah, right. No, I don't follow it, but I do have like one or two Orthodox friends still, um, and I just make fun of them. I use like yeah. their stuff against them. Yeah, uh, it's still like you know too much, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. You're very well versed yeah. in yeah. all of it. <laughs> yeah, I'll like call them on stuff they're doing on the specific like deep cut law that they're breaking. They're like, they're fuck. Like, <laughs> 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 do you yeah. feel like you just wasted a huge chunk of time doing oh, it? Oh, yeah. Is that, you think that's part of the reason why you're like, go, 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 always doing shit, always living? Because it's like, well, I wasted the first like 20 years of my it life. It might be. It wasn't a waste. You learn how to like break I stuff mean, down. Was yeah. <laughs> I mean, childhood, you know, I had friends. You do, you play basketball. You do like regular yeah, yeah, childhood yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, but I, I do agree that it's not like, there's some value to it, yeah. even if you don't create Not creative through, thinking, right? but... um. Uh, critical, critical thinking, thinking yeah. is real big in like the Talmud. Mm -hmm. So like that stuff I use. Yeah, that's applicable everywhere. Mm -hmm. but, but that whole like, you know, chew the baby's dick thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Really... It's not fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the taste would last longer. Well, Ari's like, it. I don't regret it at all. I got my first blowjob real young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got it out of the way. <laughs> Everyone's worried about virginity, but I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I did fuck a lot of rabbis, though. <laughs> <laughs> that became an issue. I'm telling you, those tits are flabby, but whatever. <laughs> see it with the fucking shirt off. I guarantee crazy. you'll be like, oh, I see what he's saying. <laughs> All right, where's, uh, where's the tour? Where's the, Okay, where's so the I'm going spots? to Nashville, <clears throat> September 11th. I hope, I hope oh, that I will Jesus not have any Christ. irresponsible and... and uh, uh, you should legitimately jokes. not be allowed to perform on September 11th. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that should be like a, all of the comedy clubs in the world unionize and say no Ari Shafir on September 11th. I mean, I 11th. can't help it a lot of times. What are you going to say? What's like your opening I don't know, but, I, but when it happened in LA, when we started getting on stage again, I was like, guys, it's so bad, but you know, at least it was New Yorkers. <laughs> and then I was doing that for a while. It was getting some laughs, some moans, some laughs. And then after like five months, I would I came to New York. I tried it here, and people were like not uh, over it. Dude. <laughs> five months, dude. There was still rubble in the yeah, air. Uh, yeah. There was still a fucking mushroom cloud over us at that point. <laughs> fucking Christ, man. Jews did it. Fucking <laughs> nailed it again. Western Wall and next 9/11. Fucking okay, great planners. Ari Shafir, ladies and gentlemen. Ari Shafir. Spokane. I'll be in Spokane, Tacoma, mm -hmm. Miami. All tickets are at AriShafir.com. Uh, 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 Orlando and Tampa and uh, Oklahoma City and uh, fucking another one. San Antonio. Do you ever go ever. overseas? Yeah, I love doing like long tours of, yeah. of, of, of like of Europe and stuff. Yeah, you China. play well over there? Like like you sell as many That's tickets? Or? Like relatively not the same as amount? many, but plenty because yeah. not many of my crew are there. Much. Yeah, so right, when right, you're right. there, it's like a special thing. Right, yeah. right. Um, so like, yeah, you do small theaters, and it's fun. I try to like space it out so I have a couple days off, so I can like like in Berlin, I'm like I'm doing 
drugs here. <laughs> <laughs> four days of one show. You know? <laughs> God, that place was fun. All they told you was like, just go to the bathroom, you'll find drugs. <laughs> and then you're peeing, and you're like nothing. And then you turn around, somebody's like, hey, I'm like, what? really? Like, That's Berlin like, or like Berlin. Germany or Berlin. specifically Berlin? Yeah. yeah. God damn, they get down. Really? <laughs> like, like nowhere else. And wow. so chill about it. The dance clubs are like, they have different genres of like, so you can have like a rockabilly dance. It doesn't have to all be techno. Right. And right. But everyone just dances. And then you're like, how? It's like, well, you have performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. 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 That's you, how. you have Molly. You have random Molly from fucking people. And they're like, this is speedy. I'm like, all right, thanks, whatever. God, I hope you somehow knock a chick up just so that your fun stops. I thought you were going to say knock a chick out so I get arrested. <laughs> but knock a or chick that. Out. Yeah. Or That's that. Good. Use that spite. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Our kids can be fucking you know, play dates together. You just finished up another video here on KFC Radio, so click subscribe. If you've watched it all the way through, you know that you like our content. You know you're going to watch more of our content in the future. So click subscribe now, and it'll just pop up on your YouTube. You it, won't miss anything. It is free. I promise you that. Zero dollars. Free for you, great for us. Click it.